not listening to Next Legacy Radio. Get great savings throughout the store at Safeway. This week at Safeway, get mega packs of bone-in USDA choice beef, New York strip steak for $6.97 per pound with digital coupon, limit one. Plus value packs of Signature Farms boneless, skinless chicken breasts, thighs, or wings are buy one, get one free when you buy two. And shop the stock up sale and earn four times rewards points when you clip the digital coupon on participating items like Lucerne Butter Quarters. For $2.97 each with digital coupon, limit four. Visit Safeway.com or head in store for more deals. What's happening, people? Your man Brandon in the building on this final broadcast on Blog Talk edition of Next Legacy Radio. Um, I appreciate all the love already. Like, a lot of people, like, are not only on the line right now, but tuned in listening. And I, I don't know why I didn't do this before, but I'm actually doing it on Instagram Live right now as well. So if you're on IG Live, you can check it out as well. Um, if you're calling in, you can definitely do it. Um, this is a final broadcast. Like I said, on blog talk, I got a lot of things going on. That's on deck. That's definitely going to make a lot of listeners, a lot of people happy as far as what the move is going to be next. But I want to send a shout out to all the people out there that is listening, listening live. If you can hear me on IG live, shout me out, please send, send a message. Say, Hey, I hear you. I hear the music. I hear what's popping. Uh, you know what? This is going to be a, a fun show, um, packed with callers, people reminiscing about 13 years of being on the air. Um, and it's just going to be a matter of time before uh, people are going to be able to check it out. And I want to send a shout out to my man, <laughs> Mexico Music. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Listen, final show on Blog Talk. I will, I will let you guys know where I will be. And that all the people out there listening right now, they can be able to check me out and check out what we're doing. I'm going to make that announcement, but also I want to make sure that I take the time out to let everybody know that Blog Talk has been good to me. 13 years, almost 14 years, and it's been not only good, it's been great. It's been great because I had a lot of different relationships that I've gained because of this. And, uh, and, I, and I want to appreciate all the people out there that have supported everything that we've done from the bottom up, you know what I mean? And it's just better days are ahead and I can't wait to, you know what I'm saying, dive deep and let everybody was let, know what's happening. And uh, you know, <laughs> and it's a lot of love, a lot of tweets, stuff like that. But listen, we're going to take calls. If you want to call in and you want to do a live shout out, you can definitely do that. Call the number 845-277-9369. You can press the number one button. It's like my girl Denia did. She's up and she's live. Next Legacy Radio, what's up, girl? What's going on? How are you? Listen, I have not done an IG Live ever, so this is like the first time I'm doing it live, so it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm IG live. Like, you don't do live. Like, you don't do live, period. I'm trying to get listen, you live listen. for how long? <laughs> listen, I, don't, I oh, feel man, like... He don't do live. I've been trying to get him to do live forever. I feel like I feel like you know. Hey, what? Hey, listen, I haven't done it ever, and this is like the first time I get a chance to you know do this thing with with everybody on the IG live and all that stuff. So this is this is actually great. This is great. This is great. I feel good. I see a lot of people that I I have been connected with. So like I said, uh, your girl Dee Dee. I want to send a shout out to her because she was one of my day one uh, ride or die young ladies from the very very beginning. So she's on IG live listening. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mexico Music. Like I said, O for L. You know what I'm saying? I got my cousin. <laughs> Tanae is in the building. Woo! I got a lot of people out here listening. And, and the people out there that's on the lines right now. Uh, look, it, it's going to be it's gonna be a hell of a show. I'm going to mix in music. I'm going to mix in conversation. Um, I'm going to wait till a lot of people get in. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like it's a it's a celebration. Uh, that we all should be able to have because uh you know i'm gonna wait a little while longer to let everybody know where i'm gonna be and, and how the show was gonna flow after this because a lot of people were like yo you leaving blog talk so that means are you leaving radio period uh-uh. nah we got something bigger and better that's in store you know what i mean so it's it's gonna be a beautiful opportunity for a lot of people to be able to check it out so without further ado deny it uh, let's go ahead and say what's happening. Miss Love is in the building as well. Miss Love, what's up, girl? Next Legacy Radio. What up, what up, what up, though? Hey. What, what, what up, D? 
Listen. Oh, so you here. got look, you want to look, you want to go live tonight? You really about really that listen. live life? Listen, I don't do IG live like that. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like it's Whoa. a it's, it's a celebration. This the last thing. night though. <laughs> on Block last Talk. Night. Oh my god. Last night we about to turn the lights out on Block Talk though, but that's fine. You know what I mean? We got something else on deck that's going to be a great look. So you know, it's okay, going to be Okay, well, I know with you, thing. it better be, uh, look, it better be, I mean, it better be, it better be something big, because if this is the last show for Blog oh. Talk, we're we going to have to uh, oh, yeah. show them how it was really done, because Blog Talk was the show, like, for Ms. real. Love, think, Ms. Love, think about it. What could be better than this right here? Like, you know, the fact that we're all together, and Ms. Love, on the low, as I get ready to put more people on, make sure you uh, text. Army and Gav, and tell them to bring their asses on here. Fashionably late, as normal, but, you know, tell them they need okay. to get their asses on line. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm so, sitting hey. him up right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. you know, why they gonna be late on the live? Like, look, we turn out the lights. They I should know, be right? Early. Turn the lights <laughs> yes, out. Like, because, you know, Lord have mercy, we all started oh, just about the same the time around too. the bell. Where it ain't nothing, it, it ain't that, look, CD, I texted him. He said he was going to call. Holla at him, too. You know what I mean? Because, look, it's 9 o'clock out there on the East Coast. They ain't doing shit. It's COVID. They, they home. Yeah, and it's cold. It's cold. So I know they ain't doing nothing. I know exactly. Gav ain't doing nothing. It's cold. I know he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> it, it ain't nothing. Like, I swear, like, look, look I'm going to tell on black folks right now. Black folks, God damn, always late. Black folks, what, what, what it do, people? What it do? What it do? Mm-hmm. But it's all love though. Let me uh mm-hmm. let me take the caller from the uh five one oh with the two three nine. You are mic'd up and on next legacy radio final broadcast. Who did? Hey, what it do? It's your boy Dope Ass Music, no S's, no C's, Mr. Google Bull, Team No Filter, West Coast, Bay Area stand up. What's happening? What's, up, What's happening? What's happening? Hey, man. Hey, it's y'all's Good. final show on Blog Talk. You know I had to slide through. I brought a few people with me. I got my man Smooth Dude from the No Filter Radio Show, and I got uh Miss Chief Beat Shop's finest. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What? So you got so you got an entourage hey, with you, right? Is this not what you're doing? Are you in your tux? Are you yeah, in your yeah, tuxedo yeah. right now? You in your tuxedo right now? Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, yeah, I had I had to get real Dapper Dan on him uh, and bring my entourage, you know, listen, HBO listen. HBO elite over here. Listen, I'm with it, I'm with it. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. Look, look. Not only do I appreciate the love, like at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Connections are made. So you know, we building off of what we what we started 13 years ago, and it's gonna continue the same. That's not gonna ever change. You know what I mean? So. Being able to, uh, you know, be out here and to be able to do shit, but, you know, help other people grow their brand and do all this stuff or whatever is important. You know what I mean? So, you know, the fact that we're here, we're live and we're able and capable of being able to take it to a next level is what we do. Hey, man, that's big facts. Uh, I, like I said, I've been I've been following y'all. Deny, how long has it been now? Eight years now? Seven years? How long has it been? Yeah, eight years at least. Yeah, about eight years. So, you know, I just want to salute y'all. We appreciate what you guys bring to Blog Talk, what you guys bring to radio. Uh, that That's all I, I had to say. Uh, anything <laughs> else would get you kicked off the air. So I'm going to go Dang. ahead and uh, not say anything. Hey, hey, that's what it is, man. Okay, hey, I, I, hey, I, I... Hey, ahead, I just want to say salute to y'all, man, holding it down on Blog Talk Radio, man. Dope. Uh, deny tag me, man. Uh, to be honest, my uh, second or maybe third time over the times coming through the show, man. But I hey, salute this power in this blog talk radio. So salute to the whole team, the whole grind, everything y'all do for the airways, man. I know y'all finna take it to the next level, whatever y'all got going. So most uh, number of respect, uh, more power, bigger blessings coming in the future, man. Y'all just hold it down. And now I already know what the business is. She comes through our show all the time. So uh, I told Dope, when you call in, put me on three-way so I can get my props, too. So, hey, man, appreciate everything y'all did for Blog Talk. Because people don't honestly know, people don't know how honestly, uh, how big this Blog Talk is, the voices 
uh, behind the phones and and the mm-hmm. and the ears behind the airways uh, who who this actually reaches out to. So I know right. y'all know the power behind it. So hey man, it's nothing but uh, gratitude to y'all for holding it down. You said thirteen years. That's a long time for calling the same number and doing the same thing over and over. A lot of people don't know the work that go behind the scenes. So I know it's a lot of work behind doing all this. So 13 years, that's a lot, man. Congratulations and uh, much respect on y'all next grind, y'all next level that y'all finna take it to, man. Salute. Real talk. Yeah, hey, man. I, I, I want to say, the I wanna say um, on behalf of the your, your Grind Heart Radio, um, Grind Heart Radio uh, family, 13 years, like he said, is a long time. I salute to you. I know I'll still be seeing you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I'm excited for you, my brother, and your family that are doing something different. Um, I'm looking forward into um, actually being a part of that because, you know, whatever you're doing, dope, you know, I'm I'm down for it, and I got your back. So just want to let you know I love you and salute to the cast. 100%. I appreciate you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, we like everybody except for Denia. We don't like Denia, but we like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Denia, I hey, love you, Denia. Hey. You always come through with the, with the knowledge on our on our show. So it's nothing but love, Denia. If dope don't take you, I will. It's all good. You still hey, love hey. Money <laughs> on our show. Hey, on my I've, been, I've, been, I've been throwing shade at Denia for eight years. So, you know, this is nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is no big deal. Yeah. It's no big deal. Look, I gotta keep everybody level. I gotta keep everybody putting money in. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but you know I what? Look, I I'll stay top. out of the way. I just listen. That's all. <laughs> Off top, at the end of the day, it's all about it's all about making sure that we continue to build bridges. That's it. You know what I mean? So everything yeah, so that we're talking look, hold on, I got you. Denai is going to fill y'all in, and she's going to let y'all know exactly what time it is. So you know, it's it. Better days are coming, I swear to God. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the mission, and that's the move. And I'm just uh, proud of the next thing, and I'm proud of y'all. So y'all continue to uh, push that uh, push that envelope and uh, just stay connected with us because I'm telling you, once we show y'all what we got in store, y'all are going to want to be a part of this extended family. So, you know what I mean? So let's make it work. So let's make it work. Well, hey, man, no doubt. No doubt. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all get your shine on. Uh, pour up your pour up your Ciroc, your uh, Mad Dog 2020, and celebrate. Uh, shout out to y'all. Hey, hey, why you in my house right now with the Ciroc though? Cause uh, that's why I can't. I'm on IG Live, but I can't. Uh, I can't let people know what I'm sipping on. So you in my house right now, bro. I'm glad it was the Ciroc. I'm glad it was the Ciroc and not the Mad Dog 2020. I, I would have been like, you know, what? I can't. I can't rock with next Blake. I can't rock with next. Listen, listen. Not even Mad Dog 2020. If you're gonna take it far back, look. Don't don't fill me up with no uh nothing nothing dark. You give me something dark, it's a problem. So there you Ooh, go. Wee. Enough said. Enough said. Yeah, that's bad for a sage. Don't give him nothing dark. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Hey, hey, real deal, real deal. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Hey, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to connecting with y'all. Uh, you know, later on as we continue to push this level. You know what I mean? So much love, y'all. All right, well, All right, appreciate y'all. Hey, continue to love. Call in 845-277-9369. Press the number one button if you want to be heard. Let's go ahead and put in Kev. Kev, Mac4 Entertainment. Mac4 ENT is the is the is the Instagram and all things live. Kev, what up though? Hey, big bro. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, fellas? How you doing? It's cool right now. You good? Yes, sir. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm celebrating. Better days are ahead. I'm looking forward to the future. All is groovy. All is groovy. I love it. I love y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I can't wait to see y'all in March. I'll be out there in Vegas. Man. You know what I mean? I'm waiting uh, for February to be over already. It's it. Exactly. Exactly. We're about to turn. We're about to turn another page in the chapter of our lives. 13 years with all this. 
Mac 4, you guys were a part of it eight, nine years, and I gotta say, not only am I proud of y'all, I am I am excited about what the future has in store, and you know, all things are good things, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's a beautiful look. It's a beautiful look, no doubt. So, um, where your dad at? Where, where's the, where's the, uh, where, where's where's Kev? Is, where's he hiding at, actually, I should say? Where, where's that man hiding at? Um, he's uh, eating right now. Tell that man, tell that man to stop eating, and tell him to get online and stay, <laughs> and stay on. And tell that man, tell that man to, tell oh, that so man the to wait. Is on the line. Hello, nephews. <laughs> I know, I know. He had to, he had to get my nephews online. You know what I mean? But it's all good. But yeah. listen, listen. Um, before I put Army on, and uh, I see a four hundred eight caller. If you want to call in, press one. If you want to say what's happening. Um, anybody else want to call? I got a lot of uh, emails, tweets. Listen, everything's active right now. So, you know, shout out to Will, who's on <laughs> IG Live right now. Will, man, stop playing and call, bro. Stop playing, Will. Call. Don't don't no, just uh, be in the shadows, Will. Stop playing. What? Brad, that was a joke about people. Look, hey, Kev, whatever you're doing, uh-huh. stop it. Stop it. Whatever you're doing, stop right now. Pause, brother. Pause. We good. So, now nah, I can't look. Good evening, look. everybody. Hello, big Eddie. bro. What's going on? We good. I finally stepped good. on the scene. Look, I can't yeah, wait. Look, I done got excited. I told Brent, I, I'm waiting for February to be over. I don't even want to go into February. I just need March right now. Listen, I'm trying to skip, I'm trying to skip February, too. I'm trying to skip February, actually. Plans, y'all. If we could, uh, we got that, that's what I'm looking forward to. If we could skip February, nobody paid no bills in February. Let's just skip it. I mean, skip man, February. is anybody yeah, coming man. early? Who coming early? Bring it in. Bring it in. You know what I mean? So, no, it's all good. Is so, anybody I'm coming gonna, early? I'm going to put Young Army in and mic up. Young Army is in the building. But Young oh, Army, no. are you, are we going to call, are we going to call you Young Army now or are we going to wait till later to call you something else? We gonna wait till later, man. We gonna wait till later, bro. We gonna wait till later, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. What's good, man? What's good? I'm I'm chilling. I'm I'm chilling, man. You know what I mean? You know I'm just now getting back to the pad, man. You know I had a had a call in to celebrate. You know the last show, man. The last show on Blog Talk. You know what I mean with my family. It's only right. You know what I'm saying we gotta do it big. Do it the only way we know how to do it. Let these yeah, people yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they know their history. And make Absolutely. sure y'all follow yeah. them. Look, make you sure know, on follow. Sunday nights, it always go down. Yeah, they don't oh, even man. know the half. They don't even know the half. Listen, me? man, Sundays was like a ritual for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> right. One thing, one Brent, thing that... Brent, uh, out on Sunday night. Amen to that. One thing that I learned over the years is the the you know and I and and well listen I'm about to deny it Army Miss Love you about to know Kev Max Four you guys listen we about to move into a new network that's going to be 24 hours seven days a week of content a lot of the information was already put out there on my Instagram so if you out there and, and if you want to follow at Next Legacy N E X X L E G A C Y if you want to See what the what the content looks like. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna have branded after dark, twenty four seven on Sundays, grassroots hip hop, which is an offshoot of everything that we do with, that we have done. And when I say that, I'm talking about all the shows, the Outlaw Culture Radio shows, the Smoke oh, Alive Radio boy. shows, the Team Dime Radio shows, the the uh you know all the all that grassroots shit, like all those old classic interviews. With a lot of celebrities, that's all going to be on the 24-hour network. We got a Tuesday ladies' night on on that on that joint with classic interviews and music. So again, we are licensed people, meaning that you know we can play whatever. You know what I mean? And we can promote whatever. Wednesday is going to be the Panic Room, which is going to be an offshoot of the Conspiracy Theory Talk Show, so it's going to go on a global level. Denia Your Radio is on Thursday. You know, and that's going to be the brand. And I'm going to make an announcement about Denia Azure and, and another show we're about to do. Friday is going to be an all-comedy comedy show on Friday. Comedy comedy shows 
with different types of deals. That's going down on Friday. Saturday is going to be <laughs> is going to be epic with the after hours, and I'm and I'm putting it out there like this. Anybody that knows our show knows that we had like moments where we go on the air two, three hours, and then the other oh. hour you can't listen to. You got to download it to listen to it. So a lot of people may not have downloaded it, but it's crazy. And when I say crazy, that's an understatement. No, you didn't do after you know, hours. <laughs> after hours is always listening. Oh my god. And, as much shit as we talk about each other or to people or to celebrities, look, y'all need to hear the content that we have. And Oh, my God. And also, I'm oh going to make an announcement. <laughs> the announcement I'm making is Denia is your radio and the after hours that's airing con- concurrently. Denia is on Thursday. After hours is on Saturdays. Denia and I have worked out a deal where some of those classic I love New York guests and I love uh like I love like flavor of love shows. All those shows are gonna go swing back and forth between Denia show and the after hours because I'm telling you, those were ratchet radio shows at its best. So those who haven't heard it need to hear it. <laughs> oh, I'm telling boy. you, hey Army, hey Army, if you haven't heard that shit, bro, like listen, ratchet radio at its best. Just saying. Oh my Just god. Saying. <laughs> And it's a trip. I know. Trip. You know what? That's going to be wild because them after hours, oh, my God, was lit. Yeah, I heard, oh, my God. They after hours lit. was lit. If and, I went back and I missed the whole lot of them after hours, baby, if I tell you they was lit, oh, my God. If you haven't heard them, you're going to be laughing at a whole lot of them. If I went like back. People I'm, during the after hours, certain motherfuckers will fall asleep. You start hearing niggas snoring and shit. Oh, yeah. And, Brian, a couple of them shows, you doing all of the uh, oh, your shows yeah. on Sundays? Because I know a couple of them got me in trouble. And I was online in trouble. I'm on the phone in trouble one time, a couple of times. Remember? You remember that? Yeah. I mean, I thought shit, I hung up the phone. There's a lot of shows that we got in trouble on, like real talk. Like yeah, it was and I so thought I hung shows. up the phone and I didn't. And y'all was like Miss Love, and I was like, Oh my God, uh, yeah, am I hey. still on the line? I'm still hey, on there. Oh. Like, oh my God. I remember that show now. I remember that. Show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, Oh my God. So I'm gonna ask y'all, and I'm gonna ask Denia first. Denia, what's what is a memory? from this, this show over the years that you have rocked with us that you cannot, will not forget? Um, oh, my goodness. A memory that – I'll say a show that I won't forget. I And I keep on saying this because of how powerful it was. The Forrest MDs and Chris Martin's show was the most epic shit I've ever heard. That I can never forget. Everybody out there that don't know, like we have four SMDs on our show. We also had uh, Christopher Play Martin on our show. We also had, uh, you know, Grandmaster Fat Flash and the Furious Five on our show as well. So that was a that was a memorable, uh, you know, interview moment of my life, which will be aired on Grassroots. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna take this, and I was telling this shit to deny it because I let her listen to a lot of old shows and shit. Army, you may remember this. We had a show where we were supposed to have uh, uh, we were supposed to have Ready for the World on, right? Um, they never they never called in. Oh, Kev, you know this because you was all on that show. Um, they never called in, so we threw shade their way all night long. We played we played music, and and we we went in on them all. Night long and it was hella funny. Like we were about to create our own ready for the world because Kev called in singing, singing, uh, you know, background vocals and shit like that or whatever. And it was like, it was, it was great. To, it was great radio. I swear to God, like that shit was hella funny. Or damn, damn, that's a throwback show too, man. Niggas did trash their ass too after that. <laughs> Real shit, <laughs> real shit, and it was it was like some of the best though. It was it really was. So it's like it was a good look. Army, what about you, man? What are some? What is a memory or two that you can throw out there for the people? All right. Um, off the top of 
of my head, truth, you know, um, I like the serious moments, you know what I mean, that the show had at times. But we cover real life stuff going on, like, you know, like when the shooting happened, um, you know, I was dedicated to Sandy Hook, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about that, you know what I'm saying? When it's something, you know, as far as the police brutality or with politics, we address it, like, right then and there, or when it's Martin Luther King Day, Malcolm X Day, you know what I mean? You know, we talk about the black history, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I like, man, when we show that we can broaden our spectrum and we ain't just in a box, that like we cover things right there in the moment, you see? Mm-hmm. That was important. We covered Trayvon Martin after the trial. We covered that shit. We went on the air right away, live, with our con- with our thoughts, with, you know, anger, with, you know, frustration with everything that took place. We went on and we did a live broadcast right after that was over. Um, also, back in 2016, when uh, the former, the now former president uh, won the election, we went on the air live and we were all like fucking in tears. You know what I mean? We we're like, and I swear to God, like we go back and we listen to the show. Everything that we predicted four years ago came true. Like everything, and I swear, like you go back and you listen to all the shit, all the shit. We predicted it all before that shit went down, like straight up. And a lot of people did, obviously, though. But we called, it. we called it. It was it was great radio. At the end of the day, great radio. Nobody can't take this shit away. They can't take care. They can't take five thousand shows in thirteen years away. Can't do it. You know what I mean? Kev, what about you? Any memories uh, that stands out to you, sir? Um, the very first, <laughs> we got we made history. That was the first time the Mad Four ever got on Blog Talk with the uh, late. May she rest in peace. And that 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 episode was memorable to us because that's the first time Mad Four ever got on Blog Talk Radio, and uh, and we had some. Uh, not only was we ratchet towards other people, we fussed and argued like family too. What one week it'd be Earn's right. week, next next to not then Army, and then it was one of the shows that I'd never forget. The gangster up in New York. I was laughing. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Cam Cam and C D went to war for a minute too though. Like that was it. That was true talk. That was true that was true talk for real. You know where I'm at in New York? Get on the get on the train. God damn it! <laughs> I hey, I remember that though. <laughs> hey, shout out to Mexicali music. Uh, you know, in Army, this is right up your wheelhouse because this is right around the time uh you started calling in too because it was all catered to the outlaws. So Mexicali music says, I remember you guys probably had the only Castro interview that he probably ever did, and then. <laughs> and then and, he, and, he, and then he said how that fool Gab basically was a regular. He damn near ended up in extra host on them shows. And you know that's hella true though, because think about it. Everybody did that shit. Like you know what I mean? Like Army, and you know that you know the story, bro. Like I used to Army used to call it to the Outlaw show all the fucking time, and I never got his name right, never. And I would always forget that dude. So I remember that. Oh, I remember the show. I remember the show vividly. I was like, you know what, Army? I, I fucked up your name. I'm sorry. You take over the show. The rest of the show was all yours. You know what I mean? So then we did that shit. Army stuck around just like Gab, just like, you know, Baby Girl did. Like, you know, you have you have different reasons for, for calling in. And then once you do, you kind of stick around or whatever. And it's it's all love. You know what I mean? So um, it, it, was, it was big. It was really big. So it was like it, a very appreciative to everybody that still stick around and think about it. That shit was like eight, nine, ten years ago. Think about it. No, actually, it was ten years ago. Eleven years ago, actually. Sorry, eleven years ago. And here we are right now, all together. You know, with the exception of Sweet Aaron, rest in peace. May she rest in peace. We lost her over five years ago, and you know, and her her voice and her messages still resonate to this day. And thank God we have this show that we can be able to capture all that shit. You know what I mean? So that shit is powerful. Y'all people don't know like the history that that came with this, and the fact that we uh that we still here and we getting ready to build a bigger bridge. 
to be able to expand this network is a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled by the opportunity that we are all here. We're about to go make this happen, and it's a good look. And let me go ahead and put in Will. Will is technically the, the, the OG down since day one, dude, because when I went on the air in October of 2007, Will called in in November of 2007, and Will has still been around since then. You know what I mean? And shout out to Philly because he was my first host, my first co-host as well. But I got Will, WSL, a.k.a. Will Sexy Love in the house tonight. Next Legacy Radio. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What up, Will? Hello. What's up, man? What's up, Will? What's up, bro? What's up? Hey. Where's Miss Love at? Oh, I'm here. Who looking for Miss Love? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm look, I'm here. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> right. How you doing? Yeah, you doing? I'm good, baby. I'm good. I'm good. I'm how good. You doing? How you how you doing? I'm good, baby. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> look, boy, you know I done been on everybody's show acting the fool, huh? Always. Always. You know how it is. You know how it is. Well. I, done, I forgot I done been on a couple people's shows. Hey, straight up. Straight up, Will. What's the memory you can take with you, man? Since day one, what 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 stands out to you? You, uh, as far as interviews or anything, anything that comes to mind when you think about this. Topics, whatever. Man, um, dude, like, Brand has. And this whole this next legacy, whole next legacy thing that he has going on was a vintage music talk radio back then. Yep. Um uh, he's come a long way, seriously. Um I got a lot of memories, man. I used to sit back, I'd be on the phone with him all night and I I was the quiet one back then. And I chime in every now and then and and, and we had some good laughs, uh with Mr. Incense. Um um, I was filling the interview with Bobby Tinsley. Um, I lost my head when Shar Jackson called in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, 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 don't say anything else, Will. Let me say it for you. So, all right, so that was one of the first times we had Cherry Johnson on the air. Cherry Johnson was doing a movie, um, I Do, I Did. So that movie came out right around the time we was doing the interview. So around that time, we was all on the air doing what we do, and, and and Cherry was like, I got somebody that want to say hi to y'all. So then uh, Char pulls in, Char pulls in and be like, hey, y'all, it's Char Jackson. And then Will ass was like, oh, shit, that's Nisi. That's Nisi. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's Nisi. Yeah, that's man, Nisi. I was. That was funny. That I, was, think that, that was funny. I, I think that was the first time I was starstruck on the show, y'all. I was like, ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I had a crush on her, yo, when I was younger. When she was on Moesha, I had a huge ass crush on her, like real tall. I wanted to marry her when I was uh, that was that was in my elementary, middle school days back then, though. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was and, uh, um, uh, I have to. Ahead, Say uh, when you when you had uh, Adina Howard on, cause I, cause I got the, I got the opportunity to sing for for that beautiful lady. You actually did. You actually did. People out there, when you go back and check the archives, when we launched this uh, legacy platform service, you're gonna you're gonna be able to hear that because not only did Will serenade Adina Howard, it was also co-hosted by um, <laughs> one of the one of the flavor flavor of love guests. Um, Hot Lana, want to send a shout out to her as well. Uh, oh, that was yeah. Cool. Uh, you remember that, right? So that was, that yeah. was cool. Uh, me and her, Will called in, serenade the hell out of, out of Adina Howard. So Adina Howard left feeling a certain kind of way about that, though. That was a trip. And that was that was good radio, too, though. That was hell of fun that day. I'll never forget it. Yeah. And Brandon, man, Brandon's good people, yo, man. Like, Y'all might think I'm just saying this just to be saying this. Like, I'm not bullshitting, man. This man has, you got to think, he stays in California. I stayed in Virginia. In my early days when I was 
um, before I took my hiatus from my music, or whatever, man, this dude, me and this dude stayed on the phone. I swear we talked on the phone probably like three or four times a week, if not more than that. And it, it would, even if it was like for 15 minutes, like just, you just having a conversation. So for me in a way, he kind of feels like, because I have two, I have two, well, I have one now. My my young sister died a few months ago. I, um, he was like the brother I never had. Um, he's done stuff for me that I, I I don't think anybody on here really knows. Like this this dude sent me a a whole computer just so I could record my music when my computer crashed on me more than what eight years ago. I think mm-hmm. it was. Yep. This dude sent me a whole fucking computer so that I could continue to record. So I like I for me like um I'm proud of everything that you've done with the radio and I know the past couple of years I've been in and out and you know dealing, I've, I've had my own personal stuff going on and whatnot but I've never lost track or stopped following you or been no or you know not know what was going on or, or what you've been doing I I'm I'm I mean, I might be absent in person, but I'm there in spirit, and it's like I, I I can't describe it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not again. I'm not trying to be a, a be soft, but I'm just being real. Like it, it, he's done he's helped me out a lot, giving me advice with a lot of stuff um, since I've been here. Since the first day I've joined the show, he you know what I'm saying? He's treated me like family. And, you know, when you click with somebody, you automatically have that click with them. And me and him just clicked, like, the first day, you know, that um, that that uh, that we met online through the radio. And back then it was MySpace. That's how we originally hooked up with MySpace. That's where MySpace was jumping. Real shit. That's where I got all my interviews from, Will. All that shit started with MySpace, bro. Yeah. Like, that's where it all started. <laughs> from Jimmy Rain to... Uh, uh, it was Jimmy Rain, Bobby Tinsley, uh, Shanny. Yeah. Um, and it was a few others that I can't name, but um, you know, I you know, I've I've seen it, you know, from the beginning on up to here to the fall and that we've all had with people, the arguments we had, disagreements we've had. I even though me and Brandon like we don't always agree on everything. I cannot say honestly say to anybody on this line right now that. It's been it's been to a point where it's like, man, I'm fucking, I'm not gonna fuck with him no more. Like we just have a, a, a disagreement, or we just have different viewpoints on certain things, and we keep it moving. So mm-hmm. for me to sit here and be a part of this, and uh, it 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 be an indie, I'm calling it an indie radio show that's done big things. Um, you know, it, it says a lot about him and what he's about and the, his brand and how he took it from what it was and he rebranded it into what it now is and some of the ventures that he took in the past to the new business venture that he's taking it on now. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm always excited for you, bro. It's like, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing but love and respect that I, that I have for you. And, and like I said, words cannot express it enough. Like, I mean, because really, like, <clears throat> people don't know that like, how me and you uh, could talk and uh, interact with each other. And it's like, man, we we was even talking about trying to get him to come over here to VA and me go over there to uh, go over there to Cali, you know, just, right. just to do a show. That, that that's right. how that's how deep it was and how deep it still is. But again, um, I I can I cannot do anything but be happy for you and the progress that you've made from. BMTR to Next Legacy Radio to where we are now to everybody that was here and there in the in betweens and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 allowed and given oppor- people the opportunity to. I think some of them have di- even branched off and did their own shows, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's 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 you know it's it's well deserved. You know, the the next step and the next phase of what you're doing and the rap that you're taking is well deserved. And I wish you nothing but luck. And I'm going, I'm going to be there. If I'm not there physically, I'll still be there in spirit. Cause I'm, I, every, when you were on Facebook, 
Um, I was always on your statuses on Facebook, watching everything. I might not comment and all that, but I'm always watching. And I congratulate you and everybody here on the line that is a part of it, that has been a part of it. It's been a long time coming. You deserve it. And, again, man, shoot for the stars. The sky ain't the limit. The universe is the limit. So, hey, you know, it is what it is, man. I appreciate it. I'm happy for you. I appreciate it. One thing I I can safely say is what you said, Will, uh, matters to me, just like the relationships that I built because of this. Like, everything that you said on the line is what I experienced with Denia, with Miss Love, with Army, with Kev, with Kev's family, with Gav, with, you know, shout out to Philly. Um, you know, and I and I think that and I think at the end of the day, I think everybody knows like at the at when it's all said and done, like it's hard to it, it's hard to maintain a relationship or a friendship or a brotherhood or a family, you know, vibe when we're close at hand. But think about it when we're so far apart from each other too. Like the communication is always gonna right. fall off here and there, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But the best thing that can come out of it is the effort that I feel like we try to make. And I think we spent a lot of years trying to figure that out. And, Will, this is not the end. And when I say this streaming service is going to be beneficial to you, like I feel like you as an artist, Mac 4 as an artist, will be able to have that opportunity to have your music played on a regular basis. You know what I mean? And that, and to me, is not like a one-night stand that Blog Talk provides. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're here, we play music, right. and bam, that's it. You feel me? It's a, it's a different deal now. Like, it's a whole different business entity that we can be able to uh, – you know, have your music brought to a higher level based on what we're about to do. And I think that's it. Like, you know, and, and it's and it's a dope it's a dope moment to just be a part of everybody's growth pattern. You know what I mean? Like, you know, everything Denai has been working on with her mag and, and, and all this shit. Everything that, you know, Army's doing with his his writing, everything Kev's doing with his boys and, and his status being their, their their manager with Pam and you know what I'm saying? Miss Love is in, in Vegas about to grind up and do all her shit. And, and Phil, you doing your thing. And that and that's a blessing to be able to see it. It's just kind of like nobody hasn't stopped for, 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 for nothing. You know what I mean? Like everybody kind of has their own one-off shit that they got to figure out and do or deal with or whatever. But, you know, the blessing is right here where we're, we can still say we're connected after over 10 years. 10 years. Right. 5,000 right. 5, radio shows. Hella, hella uh, good times and arguing and laughs and drama and bullshit and celebrations and stuff like that or whatever. All that, all that right there is to say that we survive rough patches and we survive certain things. And now it's just about, you know, everybody's evolving. Everybody has to evolve. We can't stay doing this shit over and over and over again. You can't keep, you can't keep hitting your, yourself against the wall. You got to do something different. And this is what we're doing, and it's just going to be a dope move. You know what I mean? So, um, Will, I, Will, for for somebody who used to be shy 13 years ago, for you to be, uh, you know, put yourself out there, that was eloquently put together, brother. You know what I mean? So, that's love. That's love. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. No doubt. No doubt. Um, Miss Love, I don't know if you have CD's number, but can you text him? Because he texts me. Uh, while I'm on IG Live, and he's like, uh, he doesn't have the number. So, Ms. Love, if you got to text him. Or Army, if you got him, um, too. Army, I don't have his number. So, Army, okay. <laughs> if you have it, I don't have it. Yes, okay. Don't. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll play a song, and then I'll uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and, uh, and, and and holler at the homie. But, uh, uh, listen. The number's in the freaking Instagram. Let me stop. Wait, what? Wow. The number's on the Instagram. He like, don't do Instagram. Going? You know, CD nah, is you, not. You do Facebook. I had to get my ass back on Facebook. Look, Kev told me. Yeah, he I got a Facebook. Me. Look, and we I, gotta, I, had to, up... I had to get my I had to get my fucking Facebook back because Kev kept telling me last couple of months. He was like, "Brand, you need to get it. You need to get it." I was like, "All right, all right, all right." Deny is like, "You gotta it's get it. You gotta get it." Ever. I was like, "All right, all right, all right." And I'm like, "Fuck, I, I've been off of Facebook for two years, and I deleted that shit <laughs> for a reason." But now I had to bring that shit back because I got I got too much shit to do. I'm like, God, I've been I've been trying to eliminate social media, but y'all kept telling me to get it, so I got it. I'll send him a message. I'll send his ass a message and tell him, look, bro, get get your ass. Here's the number. Here's the number. Here's the number. 
and then we roll with it. So look, hey, um, I'm gonna play a song. I'm gonna come back, uh, and I'm I'm gonna come back. Anybody got something they want to throw out there? They can most definitely do it. But I'm gonna tell y'all this. You know, a lot of shows that I went back and listened to, I feel like even like y'all don't even know the impact that y'all have when y'all when y'all are actually on the air. Like y'all don't know the chemistry that y'all listen to. Um, y'all don't know y'all y'all don't know how y'all don't know how funny you you guys are. First off, and you guys don't know that you know stuff that you guys have said, did, or were a part of. Like you guys don't know that this shit was so organic, like, we didn't have nothing scripted, we just talked about whatever, and we laughed about whatever, and we did so much stuff, and when you go back and listen to all these shows, you're going to be like, wow, we did something special, you know what I mean, at the end of the yeah, day, yeah. this was this was a dope move, so, you know, y'all don't know, what's up? The very first show that sticks out for me will be the very first time I came on the show, well, that I came on the Outlaw show because it was nobody on there. I was the first girl on there, and we would stay up for hours just talking, and it wasn't nobody really on there. It would just be us on there. Do you remember that? Yep. And uh, that look, uh, who was that? One of them Outlaws would say they calling in, and they was always being, they would always be late. And they never did call when they were supposed to call. They'll call later on. So we'll be just on just on there talking for, like, hours before they even come on there. And half the time, they wouldn't even come on there. They wouldn't even come on. No, it was always late. No, it was always late. Yeah, it was always no. It sure was. And we'd just be on there just talking. And then whenever, uh, like, stuff happened, like whenever that young lady, uh, little girl was missing, no matter what happened, we you will call us and we'll just stop what we doing at that very moment yeah. and call in and just go from there. Every so if time, y'all no matter what. If y'all wasn't on there at the time, we had we had a situation where um there was a there was a young a young lady that was missing. So we had a regular caller that called to the show a lot. Like she was like, Listen, I, I need y'all to put the word out because you know, shit's bad. Like, you know, it was borderline runaway, but also, you know, kidnapping and shit like that or whatever. So it was real heavy, right? So we went on the air and in the mix of, you know, doing all the shit that we normally would do on the air, we would always throw out there like, you know what, hey, she was last seen here. We gave the name. We gave what she had on. We gave all that shit. We put that shit out there. And uh, long story short, like, before that show was over, like, a good two, two and a half hours before we even went into the after hours, you know, she was found, she was safe, um, you know, and she was on the road to recovery when it comes to, you know, just some of the emotional stress that she was going through. And that's what I mean when I say, and even the homie said it, uh, denying you guys, like, you know, we don't know who's listening. There's hella people out there that be listening to what we're saying. And, and how we be saying it, but a lot of people don't know that there's a hell of a, uh, you know, impact to, you know, how people move. Like, this online shit is way deep than what people realize. Like, not only will it reach the United States, but also overseas. It's a global thing. And, uh, you know, it was a, it was a def, it was definitely like a moving moment in my life because I felt like we did something that was worth something at that time, too, you know? Yeah. And that wasn't the only time. It was like a couple of times you would call us up and we'll hop on the show. Or like when somebody passed away, we'll hop on the show. Yep. And it wasn't even yep. a day for a show. Yep. And we'll just yeah. hop on there and we'll be on there for hours. We did that okay. when. And how we all come together and how it all started. Because like I said, when I very first called, I was the only young lady on there for that particular time. It was just, I think, me and Gav. Gav came later on, I think. And then CD came. So it was just us for a little while. Yep. And then it started think, bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, I think Army, yeah, Army, came bigger. Before, Army came before CD. You came before, I think Gav came before you. Baby Girl came before all y'all. But, you know, and then uh, Baby Girl came, Gav, you, Miss Love, Army, CD. And mix somewhere in between, Deny came. Um, you know, I don't remember that girl coming before me. Which show was she on? She won. Um, oh no, she, the Outlaw oh, that show. Girl, 
That girl's like Will. That girl came in like in the very, okay, very so, beginning. Yeah, she was, but I think she, very I don't beginning. think she was on the Outlaw show, was she? I oh, think no, she was no, on no, a different no, show. No, no. No, she wasn't on no, the Outlaw no. show. She was on the different show. Yeah, yeah. I was talking cool. about the Outlaw show because okay. for, that, for that time, it was just, I was just the only female on there and it was just us at that time, which was yep. on Friday night. And you know, yep. like I said, we Noble was always late, so we would just be on there talking for hours until he showed up. And sometimes he would, and sometimes he wouldn't. But we'd he was. be on there talking. He was actually. He, he. There was a platform where I had got used to really just talking to people outside of talking to people that come to me and talk to me one on one. I wouldn't talk to nobody. Period. Mm-hmm. I just listen. But I wouldn't talk to nobody. And then nobody even <laughs> know that I talked to people. So right. that just made a bigger platform for me because then everybody was willing to talk or they was wanting to find me so they could talk about this and stuff. So they felt like I was a good listener. But I never did. I always stayed kind of low-key. But being on that platform every Friday was, I mean, started me going. Oh, yeah, Fr- Friday nights oh, when we okay. did All Our Culture Radio, that was the best. That was some of the best work, though, like, for real, for real. It was a lot of fun, too. It was so much fun. Yes, it was. So much fun. And I'm going to run a couple songs. I'm going to text CD in the middle of all this, and I'm going to come back. And then, like I said, I got I got more stuff that I want to say. And then, also, I want to find a clip that uh because right when we were celebrating our six years of of being on the air um and i didn't i didn't cut it up um but i actually i i i I heard something that that aaron that aaron put out there that really kind of you know i was listening to the show um last that show last night and i heard something that she put out there that was like you know it, it was everything to me when it comes to like how she felt personally you know same on that same level as will but also, it, 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 it goes without saying as far as the impact that we all have right here, people on this line, and even people that's not on this line, shout out to Cuz from the Lou. I don't know where the fuck you at, but, you know, we need to put out a, a, a search party for that dude because, you know, he had a lot of funny moments and shit. Um, Gav, Gav's brother, too. Like, you know, we had so many different moments um, of these shows that we definitely got to put it out there. So I'm going to run a couple songs. I'm going to come back. And then um, I'm going to take more calls. If y'all want to call in and shout us out, um, definitely call in, 845-277-9369. Press the number one button if you want to be heard. But I feel like, you know, everybody that got something going on, listen, this is a celebration. We about to launch this streaming service, and it's it's already done. We just, like, right now, we just in the process of beta testing it, make sure that there's an app that's available for you guys out there on uh you know that has the Android and the iPhones. Um and we just we just getting ready to put up content right now. Like all the content that you guys have heard us talk about when it comes to this kind of thing, we are actually just putting all this shit out there for all you people. And it's gonna be a dope move, I'm telling you. Like everybody who didn't understand or listen to exactly how much or what mattered or who was listening to what or oh I didn't know they interviewed like I forgot I interviewed C L Smooth, you know what I mean? Like interviewed India Ari, like, you know what I mean? And there's still there's still so many different interviews that's going to be in the mix. Plus, we are still doing live shows. We will have a live show with an 800 number. Um, we were actually, it's going to be One Next Legacy. That's what I'm working on right now. So, uh, you know, we, we are doing it massive. And when I say massive, I'm talking about, like, bigger than what you can ever think about. And it, it for damn sure, and quote me on it on here, too. I don't give a fuck. It will rival Series XM, period. 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 That's, that's, period. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> period. We have what? Fun, I didn't hear you. I Who? said we had fun. Who, me? Yeah, I No, I was you. just saying we had fun. I was just saying we actually had fun. We like oh, yeah. that, like everybody said, we had good times and we had bad times. But then Absolutely. I try to stay neutral so I can keep everybody else neutral because, baby, y'all, y'all used to go ham. Everybody, I think everybody got Live into it with somebody. Too. Live on the yeah. air, too. Yeah, yes, and indeed. I think everybody got into it with somebody except for me. Like, within everybody, <laughs> if they have, they wouldn't say nothing to me. Cause they, they, you know, I'll come across, I'll like, lie right across there and knock yeah. on your door. 
So if you got I a problem, like, you better say it right now. <laughs> I, I feel like me and I feel like me and Army are probably like the only ones that didn't have like a long drawn out like you know war. Like I feel like I went to war with a lot of other people. You know what I mean? I think me and Army right, stayed right, right, right. somewhat neutral. Man, you know what I mean? Yeah, Army <laughs> had a couple. Look, he had a couple of disagreements, but as far as yeah. the wars, you stayed in wars. That was funny as heck. Because you had people there to just call in and want to start banging. You ain't shit. Woo, oh, woo, yeah, woo, yeah, woo. Yeah, yeah. Like, who yeah. is this? Oh, yeah. yeah, hey, listen. <laughs> no, listen. You encouraged me. Brandon cut the fucking <laughs> mic. He was talking shit. And I'm like, why is she not meeting them? Why is she not meeting them? Brand, what the fuck? Why are you like this shit talking? Brand, don't get twisted, y'all. Brand, Brand hey, was just as bad as Oh yeah, no, nah, I was bad though. I was hella bad. Now was, at first, was, now at first was, he wouldn't say nothing. He had just kind of he had to see he act like he's still talking to doing the show and go over it. But this one particular night, this dude called me and he just lost it. He went all the way off on him. And we was like, dang. <laughs> like, oh my God. He opened up a can of whoop ass on this brother tonight. Finally. Because everybody just called in to say something. He won't say nothing. He'll just keep on going. Like he ain't heard hey. him say nothing. Do you hear this fool over here? Because we hear him. <laughs> Hurry up and push the button so we can go in and on. And he went straight on this particular night. He went all the way in. Right, right. <laughs> and you know what? Hey, listen, it, it's a bunch of shows. I swear, like, sometimes when I when I went back and listened, I'm like, fuck, I didn't even know it was this good. It was good, but it was just like, wow, I didn't even know. I, like, I listen, I turned into, like, a bunch of other different personalities and shit. But then I would catch myself because I was like, oh, fuck, I really did go in on this dude or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy radio, but also it just it made it made for good radio. So we're going to run a couple of tracks. We're going to come back. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about I see Gab. Gab, I see you. Um, I'll text CD and I'll get him in because CD actually that nigga life changed. Like the moment he Is started he calling in. Is he the job or the fifth job so, today? He he severely like he was he was pretty much just kind of putting it out there like you know what I'm saying but uh, shout out to him I know he's gonna call and tell his story as well so if you want to call in dial the number eight four five two seven seven nine three six nine press the number one button um, and uh, you know just kind of kick it with us for the rest you know what I mean but I'm gonna run tracks come right back I see you nine two five holla at me appreciate all the listeners. Instagram Live, I appreciate y'all still listening and tuning in. I definitely appreciate the love. I am Brandon in the building, saying goodbye to Blog Talk Radio, but moving on to a legacy platform service that's going to be able to put everything out there 24-7, all the content that we have created for the last 13 years, 5,000 episodes, (laughs) hella interviews, all kinds of shit that we've uh, acquired together putting this on a platform that's going to be doper than most. And uh, and I'm very confident this is going to change the way people do it. Because, look, at the end of the day, a lot of people are still searching for consistent radio play, people that can have the opportunity to log in and listen. We're still, we're still doing live broadcasts. It's going to be on a different platform stream. We'll be able to call in. You'll be able to call in toll-free, listen to the same kind of vibe you're getting right now, but on a different scale. After it's all said and done, this will be put on on a on a on a pedestal to be reran throughout. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be a good look. Um, and this is all launching. And you know what? Right right when I put the rest of the people on, I'll let Army tell people when this is actually going to launch officially. But if you want to call in and holler at us right now as we celebrate the final broadcast on Blog Talk, dial in eight four five two seven seven nine three six one. Press the number one button. If you want to be heard, I did text CD, so we'll see if he calls in or not. But uh, we shall see. I have Denia mic'd up, and Miss Love's mic'd up. Young Army is mic'd up. I have Kev, Mac Four is mic'd up, and we're gonna also go ahead and say what's happening to Gav. Still LBC. What up, Gav? What up, nigga? What's good? I can't call it. That's what it is. Right. You good Just in your part of town, bro? Hey, hey, hey. Say what? We, uh, you, you, uh, you, you staying safe, corona free. All is good in your spot, right? You good? All is good. All is good. 
That's what it is. That's what it is. So, so look, as we get ready to, uh, you know, close the door on Blog Talk, I want to ask you guys before uh, we put the announcement, I'll have Army, Army announce it, but any memories you want to take, you know, that you think about, first thing you think about Blog Talk connecting with me, connecting with everybody else, like what are some memories you got of this, uh, of this thing, bro? Man, I, yeah, I got to connect with my favorite rapper, then got to see how an asshole he is. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about the smoke a lot. I'm talking about the smoke a lot, dude. But, uh, huh? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Then got, got, to, got to meet everybody on the Outlaw Culture Radio, you know. Had some some trials and tribulations to argument. But shit, family go through arguments. Mm-hmm. And we still Amen. here. Amen. We still here. One thing I one thing I remember when I think about you, Gav, is uh well it's a few things. First off, like one one that stands out, like remember that interview that we did, you and me did with Richie Rich, which is still by the yeah. way which is still by the way getting hella YouTube hits. You know what I mean? This was before the Tupac movie. So, you know, that one was yep. Richie Rich at his real, raw, and uncut. So a lot of people didn't like the honesty that he was kicking out there, right? So, you know, that got a lot right. of that got a lot of heat at that particular time. But a lot of what he said came true true to form. You know what I mean? So, you know, that was uh, one that was one that was one off. But also, and you mentioned it. Just kind of like you know the the brutal honesty that you put out there, but also mixed in with you know what at the end of the day when you say we're still here, we're still here, we're still here for that reason. Like one thing I respect about you is just you know hey you may have said shit that people didn't like, but hey it is what it is. You know what I mean? Hey, I remember I remember that one time when we interviewed Dirty OG. You remember I kind of pissed him to chill off. Cause yeah, I told yeah, you, know, yeah, 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 yeah. no, we got the ball. You remember, you like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Also, I yeah. remember uh, a smoke a lot radio uh, moment where you and you and Yuck pretty much just kind of got beat to the point where he banned you from smoke a lot radio, which was, yeah, it didn't last <laughs> long enough, but you know. Whatever. It didn't last long. Oh, yeah. I think I was the first person man for Smoke Live Radio. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. It was. Uh, huh. All right, Army. Uh, let, people know, let people know when this uh, when this new streaming service is going to launch. Get these people to 411. They probably want to know when is this shit going down. So, Army, be my guest. All right. All right, so boom, right? Listen. To everybody listening right now, right, the official launch for the LPS, you know what I mean, the Legacy Platform Service, is going to be 316-21, March 16th, 2021, right, which is also your boy's birthday. You know what I mean? That's my birthday. Yeah, what I mean. That's the official day, man. So lock it in your calendars, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all don't forget, man. Tune in, download the app, all that good shit, man. That's the official day. So even though we're going off the air on Blog Talk, we are actually beta testing everything right now as far as making sure that we have the apps up, ready to go. We have everything you could pretty much imagine as far as what we got to do to basically run this conglomerate down. So we're going to have all this shit ready. Uh, for all the listeners out there to be able to download it. Oh, oh, and again, comparing to Series XM where you got to pay a subscription, you don't do that here with us. Nah, we don't do that. Uh, <laughs> we'll do that, folks. We'll do that. Nah. So am I? Am I throwing shade at Series XM? Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you know, you know what I do. You know what I do. <laughs> you know what I do. Uh, yeah, I can turn this into a commercial, whatever. Like, you know, this is going to be the first. And I'm sure there's probably been people out there as well that's uh, thrown their, uh, you know, their 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 hands into the arena to try to make sure that they do something on a comparative note. Listen, my target right now is you people out there who started for content 
We got it. We got 5,000 shows, 13 years of content, but we got, we're going to have new live shows where you can be able to call in and be interactive, just like we're interactive here. Like we're interactive. It's just going to be a, a, a doper and dope look. I'm telling you, like, you know, we're just getting it all together right now. So people are going to be like, well, how are you going to make your money? Listen, everybody make their money off of, uh, you know, how do TV shows make their money? Advertising, damn it. That's what we do. So that's already in play. Um, guess that we're going to have in the future is already in play. Everything that we got pretty much is already locked in. So your your boy brand and this station and my people right here beside me, we already got our broadcasting license. Everyone has their credential. We're good. You know what I mean? We're good. Sorry, Army. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, so, you know, um, that's the shit right there, man. Three, you know, 316-2021. And honestly, you know, I'm anticipating this shit. Like like crazy, bro, you know what I mean? Because I already know the shit going to be a hit from day one. Real shit. Like, it's going to be a hit from day one, bro, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like, nigga, this shit is, like, deeper than just the radio for me, bro. Like, it's really some family shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when I first start calling in, for people who don't know, when I first start calling in, I was 17 years old. You know what I mean? So the people on the line... You know, like, they watched me grow up, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. They talk mm-hmm. to me offline, like, yo, like, give me advice. Me giving them advice, like, real shit, man. Like, it's it's deeper than what people think, bro. Real shit. Like, Gav, like, Gav is my ace boom coon, man. Like, nigga, Gav could call me whenever and vice versa. Miss Love, she already know the vibes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Brand, come on, man. Nigga, we already know what time it is, bro. And CD, wherever you at, call in, nigga, because CD definitely OG, man. <laughs> and Kev and Mac 4, like, listen, man, like, y'all all family, man. Rest in peace of my baby Aaron, man, you know? So, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, we're big out this bitch, man. And, and I, and, and Army, you and I, we had conversations, you know, and, and we have real talk. We talked about, like, because, uh, I mean, if y'all know the story behind Next Legacy when we first debuted in October 7th of 2007, um, you know, it, it was, it was, you know, it was an idea. It was an idea. And, and if people don't know the whole story, like, you know, and Will said it best. Will said it, he put it out there. Look, you know, MySpace was popping. We had a lot of people rotating in and out. You know what I'm saying? It was a reality show person from the Flavor of Love who told me, look, you, you should do something on the radio side. Like, your voice is dope. You should do something. You know what I mean? So she put me on the blog talk. Like, I've tried to reach out to her, but, you know, I haven't got in contact with her. So um, if y'all don't know who she is, she's, she, you know, Becky uh, Buckwild from <laughs> Flavor of Love. Uh, so she, she put me on to this, and she put me on the blog talk. So I was like, oh, okay. where is she? She, she around. Her she <laughs> around. She around, bro. <laughs> she around. She What's around. Bro. Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's on. She's on Twitter too, and, and shit. So she's still active. She's still active, but she was the one that put me on the blog talk. So once I, once she told me about it, I was like, all right, cool. Let me get in. So I was like, all right, bet. It's cool. So. It started, it started, it's starting to grow. And like I said, shout out to Philly and shout out to Will, because they were the only ones that, you know, was, was consistently just like, yo, we're going to help you push this line. So we did that all the way up until we got, like, the outlaws calling in a lot. Like, we used to politic, like, we used to trade messages back and forth, like me and the outlaws, me and Crooked Eye. Shout out to Crooked Eye as well. He was on one of the shows. Actually, he was on a couple of them. Um, E-40 during the early days. Um, all this stuff, all this stuff was, was networked off of that. Like I used to send emails or reach out to them and if they were cool, cool with it. If they didn't hit me back, I would keep hitting them up until they told me yes or no. And that's usually how, hey, how the you know what I mean? What's up, Gav? What about the nigga Cali, bro? Oh yeah. Yeah. He came, he came like, he came, yeah, he came after that and he was there and then he tried to, you know, <laughs> it's funny that you mention them because there's always been people, Gav, and you know, I think y'all know this shit. They'll come in and they'll kind of feel like they feel like they need to take over this shit. You know what I mean? And you know what they you know you know what we do with people like that. 
we send them out the door and we send them pack in. So, uh, you know, what about uh, Mr. Mo? Nah, Mo Mo's good though. Mo's good. He's uh I haven't heard from him in a while though. So, you know, shout out to him. But uh, you know, hey, uh, you know, a lot of people who came and went, you know, like DZ and Blue and you know what I'm saying? Some of the OG ones too. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to uh Yolanda out there, shout out to Mr. Instant, shout out to Bemo, shout out to V from Vegas, all the people that pretty much just kind of started this from the very beginning. Like the content I use is because of them. Like, but I swear to God, y'all, like on, on my mama, on everything I love, like, look, the level of the level of brotherhood, the level of familyhood, literally, like I was telling Denia this, like legit. The best two years of my radio life was 2012. No, I'm sorry, 2013, 2014. Those were like the best two years that I feel like the best run that we ever had. And if y'all don't know the story behind it, y'all go back and look at all the interviews we made, or y'all will once this service is up. Y'all can be... <laughs> wait, wait, say that again. They can't see anything until March. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I know, right? I was gonna, I was about to say, y'all go back and listen to it, but I pulled all my content off the motherfucking blog talk, so there it is, there it is. All my shit is gone. So if y'all looking, if y'all looking up, <laughs> if y'all looking for old shows, <laughs> good luck. Y'all yeah, gotta wait till this comes up. So I'm already, I finished up sending all flash drives. Like I got like three of them ready. I'm sending it to Denia, Army, and Kev because I need y'all to hold on to it. Something happened to me. Y'all got gold right there. You know what I mean? 5,000 shows. Bam. There it is. So, you know, the seeds have already been planted, y'all. This is what we this is what we doing. Like if y'all if y'all know the story and the history, y'all know like we go way back. Like, I mean interviews I had in the mix, not just like hip hop celebrities, uh, you know, actors. I mean, we mixed it up. We had gospel, we had rock, we had, you know what I'm saying? We had so much, so much content that's worth putting out. It's going to be amazing. So, you know, for everybody out there that's listening right now, it's going to be dope as shit. And uh, what I want to try to do, though, is, uh, and y'all got to forgive me as I'm through this shit. I want to, I want to pull up this old, this old, um, uh, this old six year thing that Aaron was talking about, uh, because I feel like what she put out there is just like true to form. So I'm gonna try to, I kind of have a feeling as far as I know where it's at. So y'all just gonna have to be patient, um, you know, as I get ready to pull this shit. But I mean, when just hearing her voice, it's it's everything. Like, and I just, you know, and I, and I think Army, I think Denai, I mean, I think all y'all know, like, you know, she played a heavy hand, like. The day she called yeah. in to interview Ralph Tresvon of New Edition, um, she stuck with us, you know, through it all. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, it's – and I feel like, you know, in her memory, this is like some shit that we can do that's going to be able to kind of continue to, you know, extend his legacy. You feel me? So, you know, she's had that's a heavy it. hand in two things too, you know? So definitely. You know, like I said, there was a vibe between – all of us, and her presence is most definitely missed. Yeah, man, for a fact, man. You know, like sweet, sweet Aaron was super passionate about this this whole movement, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, super passionate, man. You know what I mean? Like, she'll she'll call me right after a show and talk about the interview and just be clowning. You know what I'm saying? And she'll be talking about the next one y'all about to do. Like, just like crazy charismatic about it you know when we had uh when we had alan thick call in like you know and we had like robin s call in which was one of her musical favorites like we had some of those we had some of those moments where you know she was just like damn this is it like you know and y'all gotta forgive me because i might hear you might hear a clip of something i'm trying to pull hold on is that chair everything with my future wife? And- On multiple occasions, whether it be for it. <laughs> All right, there you okay, go. Good deal. Great deal. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. Much. Thank Thank you so much. Much. Hey, much love to you, man. I appreciate the. I appreciate it all. And, and hey, like I said, man, you you are you are definitely a blessing, man. Thank you for being in my life, and thank you for uh, you know, sharing your thoughts. 
house with me, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stay in touch because you gotta keep tab. We gotta talk about this this Mobile Alabama trip, man. We gotta what branded after dark would have become if you hadn't think what oh, we hold on, you on guys. air is extended family and baby girl hasn't called in yet so wanted to send her a shout out as well um which i'm pretty sure if uh you know she has you know time to with her you know her being doing what she does i'm pretty sure she will too now i'm getting a little tongue-tied because you know a few of the comments and emails that came through it really means a lot and before Aaron asks any questions, I wanna I wanna I was talking about pedals, but I'll get to Aaron first. Aaron, I wanna thank you for not just the uh, the watch, but also the the flowers and also the card. I'm gonna rewind it because I'm I'm trying to find that one spot where Aaron has something to say, which I feel like is gonna sum up how we all have been to each other like over the years and shit like that. So I'm trying to find that one clip. So this is a live radio, y'all. So I didn't I didn't have a clip, so I didn't have one ready to go. So my bad. Sorry, Army, go ahead, bro. Sorry. No, nah, no, nah, you know, um I know me personally, man, you know, I just gotta brace myself to hear her voice, you know what I'm saying? You know, like that shit going you know, trigger a nigga, bro, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. Every and army, every time I, you know, I was up late last night and deny you know this because I called you a couple of times. Like, I was up late just listening to old shit, and I swear to God, like, you know, it's it's so nostalgic to listen to like certain moments, you know what I mean? And time, it's just man, it's just a fucking blessing that we got hella, hella content of like, you know, her memories, you know what I mean? And and y'all don't know offline, like, I sent a, a CD. Of uh, you know, some of Aaron's uh, email, you know, interviews and stuff like that to her family over the holidays last year, and uh, wow. you know, and I'm, and I'm super connected, and they know how much she meant to this station, and they know how much we meant to her and stuff like that. So it was it was hella dope, but uh, I'm I'm finding as I'm looking through it because I I feel like I'm right where where I need to be, and I just want to listen. I want y'all to really pay attention to what she says though, straight up. y'all to really pay attention to to the late the great sweet Aaron who is forever family to to this station and like I said Army I'm not trying to do this to be hella sentimental in a lot of ways brother but I feel like she's brought us together in a lot of ways for this shit too so I just definitely want y'all to really like just pay attention you know hey when you went to Kev when you asked that question what did you screen people like I didn't know we're called in as a fan of Ralph Tresvon when we had Ralph Tresvon on. Erin and her personality stuck to me. And now she's stuck to the show and can't leave. So that's kind of how it went. Um, so I just wanted to I just wanted to throw that out there. I appreciate that and thank you. And I'm glad that that, you know, God made a way for your journey and your path to cross with mine in order for us to meet. Because, and this kind of leads into the answer, to answer your question as well. Um, but first, I want to thank you. You see, you, you and, this, and this show have saved me on multiple occasions, whether it be, you know, the show or just you, you know, 
as my friend, as my family member. And um, I'm sorry, but um, no. you, you, you just mean a lot to me. Very more than words can express, Brand. And and I think you you know. But um, one thing when I first when I first called into this to this radio station, you know, that night when, when Ralph was on, you know, I I just thought I was calling in to talk to Ralph Dresden, you know, and and ha ha, and I'll talk to you, maybe listen to you guys later, whatever. But then I don't know, I just kept seeing you guys promote, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call back. And when I did, <laughs> this is funny, it just so happened to be the night that you were tribu- doing a tribute to Donnie Gill. <laughs> right. So, so when I stayed on, you guys just made me feel so welcome. And like I had already been a part of this family. And you guys made it very, very easy for me to blend in. And it was very, very, and still is very, very therapeutic for me. You know, when I'm, when I've, when I've had it up to here with, with my day, or, you know, it, it just you guys, you guys made me feel like I had something worth listening to. I had something to say worth listening to. And you know, and you guys, you guys just embraced what I, what I was bringing, and you embraced me as the, as a person. And my my personality. So I mean, I just want to, to thank you and and thank God for this amazing blessing that you know that came out actually out of nowhere that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. I never thought would would happen. And you know, I'm just I'm so happy and proud of of all of you guys. And you know, I love each and every one of you. But you know, and 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 I want to thank you too for for putting me on Branded After Dark because that to me is the ultimate, the ultimate honor. Because yeah. you never have a female on. I'm the first lady of Branded After Dark, and I take that role very seriously. I take that with, I with the ultimate honor, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. No, it, it's. You know, as I as I as I um put this card from the four four three on, I'm not sure who this is, but before I actually do that, I just you know, like I said, there there would in, in my opinion, there would not be a brand out the dark now if it doesn't have you attached to it. So that's how I really and truly feel. So I mean you made your stamp on that heavy. So let me take this card from the four four three, you're mic'd up. All right, y'all. I had to put that out there. Um, like I said, it, it was very emotional. If you guys if you guys know her, like I said, I think everybody kind of knows Sweet Erin in a lot of different ways. Like, I have a different kind of relationship with her. Army has one. Denia has one. Gab has one. Miss Love has one. Shit like that, right? So, to hear her say that, you know, this was what? Year six of 13. So, that was seven years ago. We yep. lost her five years. We lost her five years ago. Um. Mm-hmm. To um, me, my birthday. Yeah. To me, listening and, and, and Army, I'm sorry, bro, because I know that got you just like it got me. Because every time I hear it now, <laughs> I I feel a certain way because I feel like now she's talking to us, right? Like she's telling us, like, look, this is the next chapter in what you're doing. And it was a random, like I went through, I went down the year 2013, right? Because you know, like I said, 2013, 14, it was the, the year, two years of the best years through Blog Talk. And I want to send a shout out to the realist, Team Dime Radio, who's listening on IG Live as well. Um, those were the moments, you know what I mean? Those were the moments that basically just kind of, you know, made us family. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, when you really, when you really listen to what she said, and I'm saying this to say this. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't just by accident. It was. It was. It was by design. You know what I mean? Like, I really and truly fucking feel that. And the fact that we're now we're now gonna have an opportunity to do a lot more to be able to expand that 
And for me to be able to take a piece of what Erin did with Branded After Dark and expand that in her name is going to be dope as shit. And, um, God, even after listening to that, I don't know what y'all thoughts are, but y'all, y'all can, y'all can say whatever y'all want to say because listening to, I listened to it last night and I was like, fuck, that got me. And I, and I was telling Deny this because, um, no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna put that out there, Deny. That's, that's your business. But, um, I was listening to all that stuff during that time and I was like, you know what? <sighs> There, there is a reason why we're all here to be able to put this on. You know what I mean? There is a heavy reason why we still are in media. There is a reason why the the six, seven, eight of us is all connected. And I'm talking about everybody on this line, the realest. Shout out to Quez Outlaw. Um, shout out to all the people that, you know, ba- basically stay true to what this station is about. Like, everybody that's in this circle um, is it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we were all, and we were all brought together here by different reasons. Army and Gab and Miss Love was brought here by the Outlaws. Denia was brought here by Baby Girl. Baby Girl was brought here by One Chance in Day 26. You know what I'm saying? And and I we had, and and Aaron and Aaron brought together. Aaron was brought to, brought here by Ralph Tresvant. You know what I mean? So it's all connected in a lot of different ways because we all had the same kind of vibe, right? Uh, Gab, go ahead, bro. I would. I no, I was just about to say I was down here by the uh, by the bullshit that smoke a lot radio. That's where yeah, I mean, that was my introduction. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. That was before. That was even before we did we did anything outlaws related, right? But yeah, but oh, to, right. to, to say that Gab is to say, look, I'm I'm just glad we we don't have to deal with smoke a lot radio no more. So you know that's. That's in the past now, but at the same time, if, if it wasn't for that show, you wouldn't be here with me right now. You know what I mean? So, you know, we gotta, right. we gotta, we gotta at least, you know, big up that situation and that situation only. You feel me? So, you know, everybody was brought right, here. Right. By, oh, and and Kev and Kev was brought here by Aaron. You know what I mean? And and and, and there's a pattern that we that we all have that we are all connected. You know what I'm saying? In so many different ways. So, um, it's a it's a trip. How you know, thirteen years of broadcasting has brought us to the stage where now we're we're elevating. And um, Army, just kind of collect your thoughts for a minute. But Denia, what are your thoughts? Not just you know running this back, like you know what, what Aaron what Aaron said seven years ago. Um, how, how does that? I mean, how how you feeling about that though? I mean that that show in general was so powerful. Um, so many people called in, Pebbles called in, and it was just like, there was so many amazing things that happened that night. Um, you talked about it earlier. Um, I, I, I totally forgot that I had my mom calling. Like, I completely forgot that I had, like, I recorded that. Like, I made sure that she recorded it because I was like, this is important. I don't know how long I'm going to be on air for it. You know what I mean? And so. Um, like it was so many. Like I think I think Dope actually called in on that show too. Like, the, like yeah. I think what's been so dope about this whole thing is that we've had such amazing supporters that call in, especially when it comes to our anniversaries. And people that just show genuine love, and they don't have to, but they they see what we're doing, they see what the vibe was. Like I'm listening to the music, and I'm sitting here like I get to listen to this for 24 seven. Like all day. I don't have to listen to any other radio station ever again once this platform drops. Like, this is incredible. And I'm a part of it. <laughs> yep. I didn't want to put that you know, out there. I know that was, that was you know, your mom, your mom, you know, that shout out to you from your mom. To me, I think that that is, is very important for a lot of personal reasons. So I just wanted to I wanted you to speak on that because I didn't want to speak on it for you. You know what I mean? So, um, Army, before you say anything, uh, look, this, this to me, this, this is everything. This is everything. This next stage that we're doing is everything. A lot of people don't know. Like, when I say we were the first ones to do it back when we launched this back in 07, we were. Like, you know, it wasn't like everybody was doing it, but they didn't have the, the business mind of, as far as what the next steps would be. So remember, I was on the air the last time, and I was like, you know what? I did 13 years of nonprofit work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's it's real deal. <laughs> <when I see laughs> <now. laughs> 
it's <laughs> getting real sick. Like I did yeah. it though, and and and, and to me. I feel like get, finding ways to give back, like I said, to me, is just important. Like, this group here, this staff here, and like I said, there's only a handful of people that I just really trust on the business line. You know what I mean? And, again, I want to big up, you know, all the people that basically set everything in motion, from the Cherry Johnsons to, you know, to, you know, shit, um, to the Pebbles, to, you know, to Yolanda, to, you know, the realists. And, like I said, and the realist was on the show last week, right? And, and he gave me a compliment that, you know, is, is important. You know, he was like, man, you're one of the best dudes to do business with or whatever. Um, and, and that and that means a lot to me because I ain't doing business like I did before. Like, y'all think about it, 13 years ago, I gave everybody a chance. Like, you know what I mean? I gave the Smoke A Lot Radios a chance and all these other people a chance. I'm like, here, shine off this. And I didn't ask for nothing in return because that wasn't the mission. You know what I mean? The mission really was just to make sure that, you know, everybody was put on. We had a platform with good. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I learned that. I learned that from the people, my day one people, and that's all y'all. So, you know, for somebody like the village to be able to give me that compliment and for somebody out there that's continuing to still support, you know, that's big. That's a big fucking deal. And like I said, it, it you know, it goes without saying, and, and, and I'm going to still continue to say it, and it's just a good fucking look so we can be able to support it. And big shout out to Max Sean as well. Because Max Sean, during the early days of this show, I remember I came over to his house. He he was there. Daz was there. And we were just kind of going over, like, what a plan would look like. And maybe my mind at that particular time wasn't ready, like, for this step that we're about to take when we launched this shit March 16th. But – I feel like, you know, getting as much info from them, and like I said, shouting him out, too, was everything, because, you know, I was a regular radio dude, and he was like, yo, just come over to my house since you live out here, like, you know what I'm saying, and let's let's talk about it. So I remember I had a busted car at the time, and I drove out there, hung out with him, smoked a little bit with him, played music, and just was, had, was just going over a plan, you know what I mean? So, um it's just a dope. It's just a dope uh, moment that we could we could safely say that this has been uh, and truly a, a good moment. And Blog Talk brought us all together too at the same time. So you know, I'm not gonna throw shade at it, even though I took all my fucking content because I know if I was to leave it, that shit would be gone. You know what I mean? So just saying, yeah. took all my motherfucking. I took my masters and I'm great. So thank you, Blog Talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but Army, go ahead, man. Like you know, I, I wanted you to have a moment, collect your thoughts. Just you know, just your thoughts, man. I mean, I mean, well, you know, everything that sweet, sweet Aaron said, you know, is um, it's very poignant, man. You know what I mean? In the uh, state that we in now, you know what I'm saying? And um, it just makes me think, man. You know. We as a people, bro, you know, like, we got to appreciate the uh, little things in life, man. You know what I mean? It's the small things that matter the most, like being able to talk to somebody. Right. right. Sitting there listening to her voice really made me realize how much I truly miss her, bro. You know what I mean? You know, because uh, I got her picture right here in my room. So, you know what I mean? So I see her every day. But just hearing her voice was just, damn, it's like, you know. A nigga missed that shit, you know what I mean? And on top of that, she wasn't afraid to be transparent. And that's, you know, that's a uh, trait that we all possess was being transparent with one another, you know what I mean? Because right. it's easy to hide behind the phone and, you know, be fake. But when you being real and, you you know, showing raw emotion and, you know what I mean, you really expressing yourself, then it's like, all right, you know what I mean? That's what made everybody link up the way we did and stay linked up to this day because we all real with each other, you know what I'm saying? And if we felt like somebody was being fake, we addressed them on that shit. Right. Just like we should, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know, um, that shit just had me thinking, like, all right, we definitely where we supposed to be at this point in time, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, she just summed it up for us, man, you know what I mean? She our angel guiding us on this new on this new path of our uh, of our story, you see? Yep, and this story is going to be continuous, and I'm telling you, like, the branches that we're going to have off this, though, like, you know what I mean, from all the shows that we've got, 24-7, 365, this legacy platform, 
service is going to have everything you need, basically, when it comes to, you know, entertainment content. Like I said, you're going to have your grassroots hip hop. You got that. You got Team Dime Radio. You got that. You got you got comedy shit. You got we got comedians. Listen, we got comedians on deck to do. Yeah, oh God, should I re, should I reveal this army denier? Oh God, should I do it? Should I? What? Do it? Should I do it? No, 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 no. no I ain't gonna. Don't listen. Listen. Not, I ain't gonna. Uh, I ain't gonna reveal who. But the, I'm I'm just saying. Just just keep in mind. Just keep in mind that the comedy shit that we are gonna have Friday nights. It's not going to be your normal, typical shit. We're going to have fucking one-night stands from comedians, the shit. And I'm not going to tell you who, because we already we already got some guests lined up. And I'm saying, live radio, we got a toll-free number we're going to call. This is a big fucking business. And I'm saying that to say, be on board. Like I said, you'll have an app so you can be able to listen to this shit on the phone. You'll be able to go onto the websites that's already in play. You, I'm telling you, this is this is going to change a lot of shit that we will be doing going forward for this reason. We're not in competition with nobody, even though I'm throwing shade at Series XM, because listen, they're a billion dollar company, but at the same time, I just studied enough from them to see that there's flaws there that I can be able to uh, stretch out. So being able to do that is going to put us in position to be able to be free to, you know, work with people who's going to check it out. Like if you are, if you are an up and coming artist right now, Where's your music going to give you play 24-7? Where? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm still waiting. That's true, that's true real talk. I'm still waiting. You know what I mean? Like, okay. all right, on some real shit, if you were an established artist, where's your shit going to be played 24-7 that's not an FM fucking station or it's no payola mixed in or whatever? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm still waiting. You you feel what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna have who's gonna have a show where it's like, oh, you know what? Oh oh oh, okay. This is this is a comedy on a Friday night. Okay, who's gonna have certain such certain situations where? Okay, I'm gonna wait still. I'm still waiting. Right. Just saying. That's gonna be the thing that's gonna separate us from everybody else. And again. This legacy platform service will go live. It just so happens to be on Army's birthday, 316. But if you look up 316, that has meaning to it. I told this shit to Army. I was like, you know what? I slept on it. I prayed on it. I told Denia, like, we're going to do it sometime in March, but I just don't know when. But I feel like that's a perfect date for the obvious reason. This is a lot of it. Right. A lot of it is about resurrection. A lot of it is about communication, compatibility, business growth. <laughs> All this shit that matters, right? So it's time to it's time to do so much to for everybody to be able to have a piece of this at the end of the day. And if you want to work with us, cool. If you're real on some real shit, that's gonna reach out to you late late night. That's gonna be dope. You know what I mean? So and shout out to um, be be true to yourself on the IG. Um, you know she shouted out playing so for real and shit like that. And she was like like Friday night Dev Comedy Jam. We used to. <laughs> Real talk, girl. Like we used to stay at home and watch HBO after dark. Like that's real deal. You feel what I'm saying? So listen, there is so much that we're gonna stretch out and do. It's gonna be amazing. I'm telling you, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be something that's gonna be, uh, you know, top of the line. You know. So I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. Look, I'm gonna play this classic track, and I'm gonna come back. And uh, by the time we do, <laughs> this is after hours, though. <laughs> but after hours is still going to be for IG, though. So, you know, it's going to be after hours. Gab, do me a favor. Reach out to uh, CD. Tell his ass to get over here. Um, yeah, man. Get all Mr. New York on, man. Yeah, we need that brother on. Right. Next Legacy Radio. Shut the day. We got about three minutes left before the after hours. So if you want to call in, perfect time is now. Do it. Dial the number. 845-277-9369 is the number. Press the number one. You know what I mean? Big shout out once again. I'm on Instagram Live. I've never did one before. And God damn it, it feels good to be able to do it. So it's all gravy. It's all gravy. And shout out to you, Denia, for putting this shit out on uh on YouTube Live. <laughs> I mean, the only thing yeah. we ain't on right now, the only thing we ain't on right now is on Facebook Live, but you know, we got this. We got this, so it's all good. 
It's all good. Um, yes. Make sure you guys go ahead and like the Facebook page so we are back up and running. So make sure you guys go like the Facebook page for Next Legacy, please. We ready. We ready. So as I have everybody on, I want to say what's happening. I got I got Army in the building. I got Gab in the building. Miss Love in the building. I want, to send, I want to send a shout out to Baby Girl because I know when she texts me, uh, she was like, yo, she's going to try to get in. But like I said, just like how I feel about Erin, I feel the same way about Baby Girl. To watch her evolve, to to be who she is right now, I'm so proud of her. Knowing her for over yeah. 12, 13 years, she's an amazing person. Going through as much as she's gone through, for her to come out like the way she is right now, I'm so fucking proud of her. Um, you know, like I said, I can go down the list. I go down the list and shout out everybody for their growth and, and, and being evolved in what they're doing. Um, and, and I'll do that like as we close out the after hours. But Denia, Army, Gav, Miss Love, I'm hella proud of y'all for a lot of reasons. But let me say what's happening to CD. CD, this is where we met on Blog Talk. So I appreciate you coming back to tell the people how you feel about just us being connected here through Blog Talk, sir. CD Luther King, CD X Outlaw. That's what you normally would say, right? That's what you do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah. Yo, Bran, you got me on live? Yeah, you on live. Yes. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> Yo, what's up, family? Peace to the fam out there. That's all I want to say is peace to the fam. That's all I'm saying right now, and fuck the president. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, we met on Blog Talk CD, what? Nine years ago, yeah, ten yeah. years ago, whatever. Like when you first called in, did you ever feel like ten years later you would be you'll be hollering at the same family at the end of the day? Like how does that mean to you? What does that mean to you, sir? Shit, that's that's a form of that's a form of major growth in like a a positive and positive way and everything. I never thought like shit I'd be sitting here and kicking it to, to you talking to you about these episodes we had and shit for real, you know. I just thought, like, you know, it would just, like, just drift away or some shit like that, you know? But, shit, this shit is like a fucking classic. I ain't going to lie. Every time I come on live, it's like the first time I came on. I ain't going to lie. You know? <laughs> it's like, you know, I, I love that. I love with this, That's that extended fam right there. You know? You know, it showed me, like, you know, it showed me, like, you know, that extended fam is, you know, it's still always going to be around, whether, you know, we got our agreements or disagreements. You know, we always going to be tight, you know? Right. And I appreciate that shit, you know? That shit is real. It gave me, you know, it saved me, you know, it saved me a lot from a lot of fucked up predicaments. Like, I, you know, I don't mean to be cursing so much, but, you know what I mean? Not it's you. real. It's real. You the, the, the love I got for my extended fam is real. That's why I got to represent for my fam to the fullest and, and, and let them know, you know, I may be growth. I grow in many directions as well, and I grow wise is one of the main growth that I developed as the years gone by, you know, for real. I feel like I feel like we all we all like over, you know, ten, twelve, thirteen years or whatever, we all kind of had a, uh, you know, a moment of you know growth. Like you know, we all hit a point in our lives where it's like, okay, you either gonna either you gonna figure it out and grow and try to be better do better, become better, whatever, or not. You know what I mean? Like there's really no in between with how you go how you go about doing things, you know what I mean? So, you know, just being in that stage and look, this is more this is more of a night where this is this may be the final broadcast on blog talk. This is more of a graduation. You know what I mean? Because this legacy this legacy platform service is gonna be a twenty four hour thing. Like C D if you missed it if you missing some classic interviews or whatever, you'll have an app on your phone that you can be able to look. Oh, you know what? It's, you know, it's a hip hop. It's hip hop show at seven o'clock your time. You can be able to listen to a classic outlaw culture radio uh, interview or whatever. You know what I mean? Like you'll be able to have it on your phone immediately. You know what I mean? So, you know, also yeah. just keep in mind people that we are still doing live shows. We're just doing it on a bigger stage. With a with a toll free number, we'll still be able to keep it interactive between 
you know, callers and shit like that. Like, it's just all we all we're doing is just moving away uh, from Blog Talk to a bigger location. That's it. That's it. Yo, you ever going to get that Zoom shit going on? I, I got something know. better. I got something better. Got something better. What? You about to get? You about to get it? You about to get it? Like I just, like I just told you, bro. You about to get it? You about to get it? It's all gonna be released. Nah, (laughs) nah. Like you know, we'll still have, we'll still have options, CD. You know what I mean? Like we could do live shows, but also, you know, people need that content in their cars. Like they could listen to like. You know, some old school shit, like some interviews that we had, stuff like that or whatever. Like, that's a big deal. So, just being able to I do this, it, it. It. and it's just going to be I on a bigger it. stage. You feel me? So, uh, Denai, what, what are you looking forward to the most? What are you looking forward to the most? Oh, my goodness. Um, I used to listen 24-7 music. Like I said, I, don't, I won't have to listen to a radio station, like, outside of us ever. Because we always got the music on lock, so and we're gonna have mm-hmm. the dopest independent artists and mainstream artists from around the world. Like it was so funny to listen to the first song. I was like, I get to do this all day long. This is gonna be so epic. Right. And I, I also was looking forward to hearing the the interviews that I missed. So I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> Same time because of what I've heard about those older shows. Nah, so. Listen, listen, listen. Those, yeah. those, and, I swear, and I swear to God, those after hour shows are gonna be live. Like Gab, you don't, you don't know the story behind yeah. after. Yeah. Gab, Gab, you know after yeah. hours. Yeah. Gab, yeah. Gab, know what's yeah. up. You know what time it is. After hours has always been crazy, right? So for us to be able to have it on a on a Saturday night playing after hours repeatedly is just gonna be epic, bro. Like and then we'll have shows just dedicated to after hours. So if you want to talk shit, then that's the place to do it. Like you know what I mean? If you want to air out whatever it is, then you, that's the place to do it. Like that's just gonna be dope as shit. So a lot of after hours people do not know how reckless we talked when we did after hours. Like right now we're in after hours right now. So you know we gonna yeah. we gonna talk about some shit. Instagram live is listening. They they listening. They got their ears up right now. So we we not live right now. We on the after hours. So they listening. But they don't know the half of the yeah. story of all the shit that we did back in the day. Like you know hey all those hey all those skeletons that's in closets right now. Woo watch out watch out watch out. <laughs> Just saying, just saying, <laughs> Army. What, Army, what you looking forward to most with this whole new service we're about to launch? Honestly, bro, I'm looking forward to everything, man. I'm excited about every show. You know what I mean? You know, I'm just happy that we elevating and we moving on to uh, bigger and better endeavors. You know what I mean? And our uh, radio careers. You know what I mean? I feel like. It's a career now, especially, you know what I mean? This shit, wow. You know, you know what I mean? That niggas do for rec time on no shit like this, man. It's something serious, you know? So mm-hmm. I'm just looking forward to everything, bro. But uh, especially spreading the word. Spreading the word, you know what I mean? It definitely like around my, my area, letting motherfuckers know, like, listen, man, download my app, whatever you got to do, tune in, bro. Like, because... It's like I told you, 15 people turn into 50 people. Yeah. 50 people turn into 100, True. you know what I mean? And then next thing you yeah. know, yeah. bro, like, some, listen, numbers is anything, man. It's a number game, bro, you know what I mean? So we had the numbers when we was on Blog Talk, and we we yeah. going to multiply that shit on the LPS, man. You can guarantee that shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, people, people don't know. People broke Blog Talk how many times? Like, let's be honest. We broke this fucking show. We broke blog talk on so many occasions. We people don't know Hell how yeah. many people don't know how many hey. listeners we we listen to. People don't know. They don't know the impact that we had thirteen years in. People don't know. You know, mm. there was so many. There was there were so many offshot brands of of Next Legacy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is where Smoke a Lot Radio was born. This is where Team Dime Radio was born. This is where Outlaw Culture Radio was. Born. This is where Branded After Dark this is, was this born. Is, this is this is this where, is where um, E Notes was born too. Yo, E Notes, what up, homie? 
<laughs> oh, oh, my God, please. please. Don't do this it. This is where Eno was born. This is where, actually, this is where Brandy was born. This is where, this is where, uh, shit, this is where Truth and Conspiracy Word Theory up. now, now oh, called the past. This is this is where Brand- it's working. Mm-hmm. Denier Zure I heard you talking about V from Vegas. Where is he at? So I could cuss oh. him out why he thought because my name is Miss Love. Somebody wanted his stinking ass too. Like yeah. boy, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he did. I had to get into it with him. Like don't remember, call me baby because don't call me baby because that make me feel some type of way. I said that to everybody. Don't nobody want you because like for real. <laughs> Nate thought because my name was uh, Miss Love. I was a stripper. That was a stage <laughs> name. No, that, that is my name. Rumor. My parents gave me. That was a rumor. The rumor That's was crazy. the rumor. Rumor had it back then, Ms. Love was a stripper because her name was Ms. Love, but that's her real name. Like, <laughs> uh, man, like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah, I and I had to cut somebody out all the time. Like, no, that is my name my parents gave me. It is not no stage name. Get right. out my inbox, quit sending these nasty <laughs> pictures. No. <laughs> but there was, there was so many, there was so many uh, station, like, offshot brands that was born off of this shit. Like I said, it's just you know, VPDZ, Wednesday exclusive, uh, shit, Tuesday ladies night, you know what I mean? We yeah. had, like, we had yep. Cinderella, we had MC Light, we had, um, shit, we had Lil' Kim, Lil' Kim stepped on here for a little while, like, I mean, shit, we had, we Bad had, boy killer. we had, we had moments, we had Lil' C's on here, we had CL Smooth, we had Ice Cube, we had, you know, the list goes on and on as far as what we have done. So we had MCA. DJ Queen. MCA, yeah. we had DJ Queen. Shit. Um, but trust me when I tell y'all MCA. when going from this Vogue. Listen, everything yeah, about them after hours. Them after hours is gonna be crazy. They're gonna be laughing at them. Yeah. They're gonna be trying to find us for after hours. Watch. Listen, they're gonna be looking for everybody no, yeah. on after hours. If I if I if I tell you there's gonna an army, I swear to God, Gav, you're gonna forget shit too and cut. And, and CD, like, man, I miss Cuz, though. Y'all have no idea. Listening to a lot of old shit, yep. I miss this nigga, yeah. man. Cuz from the loop. For Wasn't real. Smoke a lot on here? Be- Wasn't um, Yuck Mouth on here, too, before? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Ain't nobody was raised so uh, Cuz from the loop up with his little bitty short ass. He's nah, so like, but can't nobody yeah. find him nowhere. No, like I told you, Miss Love, when I texted you before, you were the only one that knew exactly where where because you've actually met the man in person. So I don't even wow. know. Wow, nobody never heard from him. Nah, and, I don't even know where that's going. Wow. To find him, like actually find him, I would have to go to St. Louis, like. Okay, so y'all gonna send me on a mission to go to St. Louis looking for cubs. Like, we gonna, listen, we're gonna, yeah. we gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Like, 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 y'all go back and listen to a lot of those. When y'all go back and listen to a lot of those shows, I swear to God. Like, oh, shit, oh. this is hella fun, though. But um, there is there's so many after hours that y'all gonna listen to. Y'all gonna be like, this shit is fucking crazy. Like, yo, it's, listen, it's just gonna yeah, be hella Made for made for radio and it's gonna be epic. Like I said, a lot of old content, but I'm talking about new shit too, y'all. Like, listen, we're journalists up in this motherfucker. It's not like we're gonna, you know, we're just gonna, you know, uh, be hella glorified and just be like, look, look, we got five, we got five, uh, we got five thousand shows, thirteen years, thirteen years of content. Yeah, we're gonna hit you over the head with that. But we got new shit coming too. Like I said, new new interviews and Denia said it earlier. Like, if y'all want y'all radio, y'all music is going to be played. Mixed in with all this shit, 24-7, 365. It's going to be that thing. I'm you. And you're going to have, and you're going to have that access to it by downloading the app or just going to a fucking website and just, just streaming that shit. Like, y'all got it. It's just going to be so dope for everybody to be able to have this shit. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. And it's free. We're not charging people like Series XM. We're not doing subscriptions. We're just giving you all this shit. All this shit. Well, all right. right. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be nice. And you said we get to listen to it like twenty four seven. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Most of it. Them, I, that's why I said I can't wait to see listen to them old like when we did first started old after hours because it was crazy. 
Hey, yo, man, Shit. but, like, like, you think you starting and your CD. day in the morning, getting ready to do what you got to do or whatever, <laughs> and you sit here listening, you know what I mean, to the after hours or something, like, you know what I mean? Like, you listening to niggas clowning early in the morning and type yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> real, that's yeah like, real, real everybody going to be looking for us. They going to be looking for us for the after hours because we be on that action of straight food on after hours. And half of them going to be surprised, like, no, they didn't. No, they wasn't acting like that. No, they wasn't saying <laughs> <And they, laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> like, ooh, they was out of line, like, ooh. <laughs> hey, listen, I swear to God, we heard hella people's feelings on the after hours, though. Like, a lot yeah, of people going <laughs> to <laughs> They going to be mad, yeah. like, but they going to like it, though, because we, you know, for the most part, we clown and have fun, but they going to. They gonna laugh at it. They gonna like it though. Hey, look, hey, Miss Love, I mean, we may have clowned, we may have clowned and had fun, but I swear to God, some all that shit was like pure real. This is how we really feel. So yeah, it ain't even like real. on some on some bullshit. Like this is really how we fucking feel. You know what I mean? So if yeah. people ain't ready for that, if they ain't ready nope. for it, don't, do it. don't listen to it. <laughs> if you ain't ready for it, oh yeah, because all of that. Not for real, not listening to the after hours. I'm hey, just saying, I hey, the whole lot of, of it was pretty. Look, look, a whole I lot of it was pretty it. raw and uncut. So I'm yeah, they're uh, gonna be mad about it. I'm talking about celebrities. Yeah, they, they all, they all on the chopping block. So they better, y'all better watch out. If y'all, <laughs> if y'all don't want y'all feeling hurt, y'all want y'all feelings hurt. Y'all listen to the show on Saturday night. Swear to God, like some crazy shit. Like, ready for the world, yeah. then y'all up first. I heard they feel like <laughs> that hard. Hey, let's, let's no. going back and listen to that show. Oh, wow. Like, I don't even need to make no apologies because that's how I felt at the time. So if I felt that way back in 2013, then fuck it. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Ooh, so, we, you know, yeah. listen. Yeah. listen. Yeah. And O for L, Lord, bless Noble's heart because, baby, <laughs> Gal, he gonna be mad. Nah, we still old for L. Fuck that. We still old for L. We still hold that flag down. Okay, Fuck yeah, that. we still look. We still fans, but L. baby, like no, we're gonna be. Well, no, he can't be really be himself, mad so again. Because when Gal talked to them, little niggas didn't start that shit. No disrespect to them, but them little niggas didn't start that shit. That was just. But when Gal actually talked to him, he talked crazy to him in his face, so it won't be so bad. It wouldn't be the first time he had it. Hey, it's just like Gab huh? said, just like Gab said when when he interviewed, when we were inter- interviewing, um, you know what I'm saying, killing them uh, for dirty LGs, like Gab threw his feelings out there, and you know, listen, if if y'all if y'all if y'all is real, if y'all can handle the truth, then I don't know, I don't know, child. This is, and I ain't saying it's true, true, true. It's just like my truth. If you can't handle my truth, then fuck, fuck it. it. It is what it is. Yeah. Yep. It is oh, what yeah. it is. But. Listen, That's what I said. He won't be too mad because Gav did tell him when he was on the phone he wasn't shit. When he did an interview, he told him he wasn't shit. So he can't right. be too uh, mad when uh, he him on after I was telling him he ain't right. shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, he so Gav ain't got no problem so saying that shit. So look, nah, Gav ain't got no filter, not at all. So he was RBA mad too. Like he was filter. really upset. Look. Yeah. Look, you, look, you, and, and it's not even like you put some alcohol on somebody and the truth gonna come out. No, fuck that. We tell the truth all the goddamn time. Yeah, so, ain't no bully in here. This ain't no bully. Like this is here, fact. Word up. Look, word look, up. It, it, it's, it's all, it's all in. It's all in. But hey, 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 army. You don't have one. You don't. You don't have one. Uh, fuck. You don't have one. Um, after hours that you don't remember that you're like, fuck. I need to go back and listen to that shit or something. Um, actually, I do. I do. Um, and, <laughs> but look, though, it's kind of ironic, too, because I wasn't even <laughs> present during this particular after hours, but I was told about it by Sweet Aaron because shout out to Cubs from the Lou, wherever you at, man. But Word he up. was telling me that Cubs was trying to put her on blast about having a crush on me. Oh yeah, with her get, you know what? The one thing about the one thing about Erin, she was giddy. Now when she first came on, she was dry as hell. But then as she went on, uh-huh. she was real giddy all the time. Yeah, Erin Aaron was that person. Like Erin had to get a feel for everybody, and then she yeah, she, she unleashed herself. But hey, Army, I gotta find that show though. But yeah, like, cause pressure. 
Buzz pressed her though. Like he pressed her. He was like, "What are y'all yeah, he got going on?" Like he pressed her. That's real <laughs> shit. That's real shit. I remember well, that. She'll try to change the subject, and he'll go right uh, back yeah. to you. But what? Yep. What you say about Army though? <laughs> he'll say something else. Okay, but what about Young Army though? Right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But what exactly. about Army, though? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you still didn't say about Army, sweet Aaron. Hey, 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 Army was getting, oh, Army was getting, and Army wasn't even nowhere to defend himself, too. It, right. it, it was hella funny, though. Like, it was funny. He pressed it. He pressed it. Hey, yo, but, um, you know, oh, that shit was a classic because, you know, I'm the youngest nigga on the uh, panel, and I had a reputation for having the tenderonies and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so when she happened to crush on me, it was like, damn, like, now you're trying to expose it. That shit was funny. <laughs> this, nigga <laughs> Army, this nigga Army Army was always like, we would be in the mix, right? We would do our interviews. So we would, oh, and listen, we would be done, wait, hold up. We would be done with an interview. Like, we interview, like, some, some celebrity or some shit like that, so... You know, by the time the music's done playing, we get to everybody talking about, oh, yeah, that was a dope interview, blah, blah, blah. Get to this nigga, Army. I'm like, Army, what you think about the interview? Oh, man, I'm going to have to go back and listen to it. I was on the phone with the Tenderoni. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, he, he was always, he was always, he was on the line, but he was always offline, too, at the same time, talking to some shit. Uh, all the fucking time. That nigga did it all the time. Like, I want to say, Part of the time, when she started talking about one of them time. girls that he liked, it get real quiet. That's the only time Army a kick in. You start talking about one of them girls that he was really in love with. Right. He'll be, be tuning. He'll say, "What you say? Why y'all all on her like that, though?" Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, hey, that was good though, because we would always pop in like, "Oh, Army ain't talking right now. He must be on the other line talking." Yeah, as soon as you talk about yeah. look, as soon as you talk about uh who was it, Tatiana? No, who was it? Oh yeah, man. Who Tatiana. was it? Tatiana. Baby, that yeah, soon baby, as soon as you say something about her, his ears is up and what you say? <laughs> yeah. Everything was up. He was listening to all of that. He could hear that, but he wasn't hearing nothing else. As soon as you say hey. her name, he was all in. Army, I think I'm gonna do it, bro. I think I'm gonna do it. I think it was one episode that that we aired, that we put out there, that you know Tatiana's pregnant and shit like that, like your whole demeanor <laughs> shifted, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was the yeah, episode. Yeah. That was the episode where Army was like, "Fuck y'all." He was like, "You know what? Yeah, y'all some ass talking niggas. about her." Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Quit talking Yo, about. Man, it. I don't want to hear that. So I, uh, I do remember that. Y'all had to keep bringing her up, though. Right. He was we mad. Did. He was hey, look, that. That. Y'all ain't got to keep we, talking about her. Look, Miss Love, we did, and Army was like, we kept bringing it up to fuck with him, but then yeah. Army was over he was it. So he was so mad. He was over I'm it. I'm over it. He was like, he was like, you know what? Army had a phone, like he could have hung up, like hung up the phone hella loud, like he would have did that shit on us that night because we fucked with that shit <laughs> yeah. heavy though. Like he hey, was yo, and, yo, and we got to let the people know that whenever I will be on the other line talking to my girl, I will click back over <laughs> and be on point with whatever y'all talking about. As if yeah. I was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, when you, when you said you did, when you did that, like we would be having our top 15 and shit like that. Like, you know, we would be like on number seven. And I don't know how you did it. But your ass would be like, yeah, and I, I want to comment about number five or right. some shit like that or whatever. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't know how you did that shit, but you you finessed it real well, brother. You did. I was like, I don't know how that nigga did it. Oh no, oh no, man. Fucked up. Smooth criminal, G. Hey, hey, hey. That's what it is. Smooth criminal. Exactly, exactly. And we and, and listen, there's gonna be plenty of moments in the after hours where you're gonna hear Gab and Denia snoring their asses off too during shows. So Man. we're gonna oh, we're gonna do yeah. that. we'll do a nice little we'll do a nice little power hour. It'll be the the Denia snoring and power hour. Wake up and say that. Well, once we get him up, he'll wake up and say that ain't me. 
<laughs> yeah, that was you. That wasn't me. Oh yeah, it was you. <laughs> and your dad would always do that. He was like, "Oh, well, who's that?" It wasn't me. It was a few. It wasn't me. It was me. <laughs> like, and one night it was going back and forth. You remember that night? One night, Brandon, it was going back and forth between him and Denia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be him and then it'd be her. It was beef ever. Yeah, it was. It was one. It was one episode where I was listening. I was listening to. It was one of one of them. It was Danae. It was. I don't know who the fuck it was, but I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna have to do a process of elimination. And yeah, I did because they was they I got did. louder and louder. It, it did, but then I couldn't. I still couldn't get rid of it because that shit was hell of loud. I was like, "Where's this shit coming from?" <laughs> <laughs> what is this? And it, it was, I think it was, was so, Gail. It was so listen. It was so loud we couldn't even hear. Like, okay, let me play some music and see if I can wake Gab up. Like, let me wake Gab ass up. Oh, couldn't even do that shit. Oh, like Gab slept through it. Gas slept through all that shit. Like, <laughs> like, oh. I was like, God damn. <laughs> that was funny uh, as fuck. I ain't going to use it by that Jeopardy music. What's up? No, you used to play that Jeopardy music. That do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Jeopardy. <laughs> oh, Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. What about that, oh, that Willie the Lion yeah. for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he heard y'all snoring, that's what he yeah. was saying. Like, We're leaving yeah. light on for you. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that shit. That was oh like, yeah. like that was like the no, ongoing. Mine, he, he has, he has, no, no, no. He has the ability to cut the mics off, but no, he wanted to be an asshole and leave the fucking mics on. <laughs> oh yeah, and it would be so loud, it would be uh, fun, and we'd just did. be talking about y'all like the whole entire time. Y'all I did. Me. I talked shit about the night. Like, I, 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 I and I think I at one shit. time, Brand say sound like somebody got a, a look, an allergy problem or something. Yeah, <laughs> is, is he all right over there? Yeah. <laughs> and we was on there busting up, man. He was like, sound like you got a sinus problem or somebody. I mean, it was funny. <laughs> we was on that play on the night. Oh, oh my god. I remember that. Like, I remember ooh. one night. I remember one night it was like, well, Denai was kind of smooth too. I was like, Denai, that's you, huh? She was, she, was, no, 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 that wasn't me. That wasn't me. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> and then she would go, and then she would go right back to sleep though, which I thought was hella funny though. Like Denai was like, nope, that wasn't me. But then she'll go right back though, which was dope. That was fucking funny. Again, but, like I told uh, you last night, nah, damn that. It was like I know because it was me, every girl, and guy that would knock out. But like you think about it, the show starts at ten o'clock. By the time we get off there, it's like fucking two in the morning. It's like three in goddamn Florida. <laughs> right. I had some time too where she was on that right. sleep. Yeah, Baby yeah. Well, sleep on that too. Hey, hey, y'all, y'all right. quiet as kept. That wasn't baby girl. That was baby, baby girl though. That was from <laughs> little. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, he was up in there too. He would be sleeping. Baby, like, baby, girl. baby girl would sleep a few times, but her and the baby would sleep a few times too. Listen, I think me and Arnie is the only that, ones that never did, that never went to sleep on that. No, nah, well, Army was I, just macking. Yeah, no, nah, Army would be quiet. He would be quiet. He was he always was, too loud. He was in the library. <laughs> uh, he was somewhere. He didn't have no damn business, and they he kept would, telling him to be quiet. He didn't want to be quiet. <laughs> Army finesse his calls though. Army finesse the yeah, fuck he out of his calls. Like, baby, and he had twelve jobs. I got twelve jobs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And which one you at today? I'm at the library. He was leaving the library and he was going somewhere else. But at most of the mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. at night he was oh, at yeah. the library. No, he he's supposed to be quiet in the library and he up in there. Yeah, yeah, I remember a lot of times CD would be like, "Yeah, I'm broadcasting live from the library." Nigga, loud as fuck. No, get out of the bro, library. Bro, you are bro, not supposed to get in the library. Yo, yo, you are not like supposed to be in the library. Right and and look, 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 let me tell you on CD me real quick. CD, let me tell on you real quick, bro. Not only were you at the library talking loud, this nigga CD was over here like, you know, he talking about, you know, he talking about Malcolm X books and shit like that, loud as fuck. So all the white people that was in the library were probably like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what is this dude doing? like God damn. Nigga was real. Was, 
that was that was real yeah, moment was. though. Hey, hey, we, there is, I just remember. Yeah, there who is was that? Uh, that came That's on crazy. after hour. I didn't mean to cut you off, but who was on? They came on that night. I think we was in after hours. That man, he pissed Brian off so bad. That was the time that he went off on him because you, oh, yeah. you never heard him go off on nobody. But that day he went completely off. Who was that? No, we, no, we weren't on the after hours. No, I was on the after And Brandon put him on the spot and told him if you want to do smoke like radio, be my best guest. No, this was a dude, he uh-huh. kept saying, he told Brandon he wasn't shit, and he was lying about this, and he was lying about that, and that was, I don't know who it was. was. That was wow. a promoter. Whoever, who was it? That was that was some promoter. I have no clue. Dude's irrelevant. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. He, he, kept telling Br- he kept saying Brandon was lying, and he wasn't yeah, shit. He, was he kept promoter. saying, he lied you, you lied no, about that, that ain't the truth. That was, wasn't that the first dude you did this show with, Brandon? Nah, 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 that was somebody no, else. No, it wasn't. Nah, I, don't, was I can't else. remember his name. Yeah, but nah, he I came remember that. And Brad said, that. you had a nerve to come on here and talk shit to me. He went completely off on him. And we was like, yeah. dang. Yeah. He finally uh, <laughs> said yeah. something. Yeah, nah, I went off on dude. Just like I went off on, like, I went off on a few promoters for, you know, janky promoters. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You really yeah. promote people and shit like that, and we aired them out. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, anytime well, that, I think first he tried to start with Gav, I think. I think so. Was Gav, I think at first he tried to start with Gav, but then yep. he really went off on Yeah, you went all the way crazy on that dude. Sure did. Sure oh, did. <laughs> I was proud of it, too. Proud of it. Like, we aired out hella people, though. Yeah. Like, we did. You know, we cut people off yeah, and yeah. shit like that. That's what we do. That's what we do. Listen, we... Listen, uh-huh. listen, 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 listen we, can't, we, we, can't, we can't just sit there uh-huh. and just be like, look, we ain't doing that shit. That's not what we about. Yeah, but yeah and nah, who, I, had the, uh, who had yeah. the love show? Who had the the two people that were talking about love all the time? Was it Wednesday Baby night? Dizzy. That was no. Dizzy. Yeah, that was Dizzy. <laughs> that was who? The Guru. Gab, Gab, you, uh, Gab, you remember that shit. Gab, remember that shit. Gab, remember that shit. Was it, the it was a guru. boy. It was a dude and a girl at first. Yep. Yep. Some old Michael and, and Bailey going fucking motherfucker. He, he always I, thought he knew what he always he just whoa he knew everything about love. Dude, you don't even got a girlfriend. What do you know about love? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was that Billy D. Williams boy. And we used to me. get into it all the time, and I would call his show just to get into it with him because he, he knew listen, everything about show. love. Hell of shows on there too. I'm telling you, there's a lot of shit on there. Y'all don't go. Be like, he'd be like, I don't want to talk to her. Don't don't put on. Yeah, cause you like you don't know nothing about love. How old are you? Like 15. Right, <laughs> right. Nah, it was hell of shows though. Y'all go back and listen to some of that shit. Y'all gonna be like, whoa, like it was just crazy, crazy. Yeah. Like, it was hella crazy. Yeah, so but it was worth it though. To get into it, I yeah. smoke a lot all the time. Yep. Shit. Yeah. His favorite rapper was on Smoke a Lot. I'm, I'm still not gonna get to the part where this nigga Castro punked me, but I'm gonna let that slide. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Was got <laughs> that that was, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let that slide. <laughs> Y'all got into it. Everybody on this show <laughs> got into it with somebody. Cause my little brother right. don't know better. I'm gonna let that slide. That, <laughs> that nigga got said he said do a like, bear. He said do a bear shit in the woods and wipe his ass with a buddy rabbit. <laughs> he said wipe. And he said, but you not pop. Hey, I'ma let that go, man. I understand that was anger, yo. I'ma hey, let Gab. that go. Real. Hey, Gab. Yeah. Yeah, you remember uh you remember that night? Um you remember uh DJ Vito V, right? You remember that dude, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, alright, so check it, check it. So there was a show, there was a show, remember, I was gone, I was doing, I had a dinner function or some shit like that, so Vito took over <laughs> Outlaw Coast Radio and that you day. did the wrong thing. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, I was listening to that show last <laughs> night, so Vito took over, right, that nigga took over, and Gav, through the show, Gav was like, damn, I wish Grant was here, 
damn, where Brand at? <laughs> like yeah, I went the whole time. You gotta think about it. Think about it. I wasn't on the show at all. I didn't even call in nothing. Like that was just a show y'all did. So Gab, yeah. I, I swear to God, Gab, like three or four different times in different spots of that show, you were like, damn, where Brand at? Why Brand ain't here? Where are you, you at? Like, you had to go was, out of town for something to do. Nah, something. nah. That night I had a dinner. I had a dinner, so I couldn't do it. So I gave it to him to do. But Gav, all through the night, Gav was like, "Fuck this show!" Like, man, where Brand at? Like, it was just all bad. Like, and I don't know if you me that shit, Like, why like, Brand put this fool in charge? You don't even know what he's doing. Yeah. He went Gav completely me. off. I listened to that show. I played that shit back. Gav had me dying laughing. Gav was like, yeah. oh, I was like, oh, my God. Dude had me cracking up. all the way off. <laughs> now, now, that night, Gav was mad as hell. Like, I don't know why Brad leave him in charge. He don't ever put him in charge. He's like, I can't wait to talk to Brad. He better not put him in charge. Nothing else, man. This dude don't even know what he's doing. He don't even know what he's saying. Like, he better not ever put him in charge of nothing else. Like, he was so mad. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Gab had me dying laughing, though. Like, Gab, each time, every time Vito started talking shit, because Vito was one of those, you know, he, he, would, he would grandstand a lot. Like, you know, he would just be like, nah, I, I just, you know, I'm good. I'm this good. This is what I'm doing. This is my people, blah, blah, blah. Gab was not hearing that. Gab was like, Gab was like uh-uh. Where, where, where Brand at? We're we're brand new. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't yeah. like it at all. He Vito, was upset. Vito cool anyway, yo. Shout out to Vito. He's cool anyway. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Vito yeah. though. Like no 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 ill will, no <laughs> Vito. Vito Vito solid. He's solid. But uh yeah. he no. had what his gr- no, that's the one who had the crazy girlfriend, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. He was ready to know. He was not. I mean, he'd be like, Miss Love, you can't even get on the phone and stand up for yourself. You got this one over here. Just let her know that, dude, this, that's all you got to do. Just tell her the truth. That's all I'm going to do. Tell her Yo, the Billy, truth. Man. Hey. <laughs> Y'all, that was good. Check it out. <laughs> like she was crazy. Hey, and they, and they still together though, so you know, hey, listen. Man, and still... if I tell you I was so mad, yeah. I was so mad. Girl, let me tell you something. I'll find out where you stay and come kicking your door and beat your ass. You hear me? Don't nobody but you want that. Yeah. Have you seen him? Have you that. seen him? Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, I yeah, see him right. every day. She was on there popping, too. <laughs> What's up, girl? <Yeah. laughs> hey, but no, um, Vito, he used to always cut motherfuckers off and then say, oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's Vito Belly, man. Y'all don't understand. Hey, man. That's Vito hey, 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 was he not like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I cut you off, Gav. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, like, what were you talking about? Yo. <laughs> and I had to call him out on that shit. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's it. I, I swear to God, y'all, y'all just don't know. Like, there's so much content that people are gonna go back and listen to. They're gonna be like, "Holy shit, it's just fucking ridiculous." Though, so it's just like, wow. <laughs> I, I can't. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for y'all to just be able to check all this shit out. So it's gonna be hella good. And I feel like it's, it's long overdue. Think about it. Five thousand shows, yeah. thirteen years. Hell yeah! You know a lot of shit that people don't even know that we did, or the people that we did, they didn't know that we interviewed. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we were the ones that interviewed. You know what I'm saying? Bob, we were Bobby Walmax, rest in peace. We were Bobby Walmax's last interview. You know what I mean? Like his yeah. very last interview. Yeah. Like we were one of Alan yeah. Thick. We were one of Alan Thick's yeah. last yeah. interviews before he passed yeah. away. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And also scaling it back, we were yeah, actually, yeah. you know, if y'all know the Conscious Daughters out here in the Bay, you know what I'm saying, right yeah. around the time, you know, special one with Grace, rest in peace. We were like one of her last interviews too. You feel me? So yeah. Um, and I'm gonna go down the I'm gonna go down the Soul Train line of the people that we lost that was power hitters on this show. You know what I mean? Like Big Psych. Big Psych used to call in all the fucking time. You know what I mean? Rest oh in yeah, peace. hell yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah, Man, I right. remember we you called everybody and we threw a show together for Nate. Like, oh my God, Word up. we got on there another one Rising of them amazing episode. shows that we had mm-hmm. to get together for. Everybody yep. just stopped what they was doing and just jumped on and was like, "We we in here, everybody in here, let's get in here." And we was on that night. It was so much. Uh-huh. Go ahead, go ahead, deny. I'm sorry. There were so many of those shows. There were so many of the shows. Like literally, like I, I think, um, what was it? Um, when President Obama won the second time, we literally had 15 minutes to get on air. It was like, wait, what? Because <laughs> the brand came mm-hmm. inside, she was in the front of and so he was like, he was going on 15 minutes. He said, 15 minutes, boy, are you kidding me? But it was an amazing show. Yeah, yeah, just amazing. jump on the head, call everybody, and say we got to go on the air. Well, well, what's yeah. going on? Just jump on there. We'll get on there and do what mm-hmm. we do. Just stop everything. Mm-hmm. Stop what we're doing and jump in. No matter what time it is, we'll just stop yeah. what we're doing and jump on there. Yeah. Which was yeah, amazing. Yeah. You know what? And the best thing I like about all of us is that we became a family immediately because, you know, everybody's not meant to stay in your life. They just pass through. And we done been mm-hmm. together so long. I mean, and then we stay in different areas. We got to know each other and not even seeing each other. You know what I mean? We just became Mm -hmm. like a real family, friendship, relationship, friendship. You know what I mean? That most people love to have and they don't have. So that's the best part of it. And we, like you said, we argue, we fight, we fuss. And Mm -hmm. like I said, I try to stay neutral with everybody. I listen. I mean, and I try not to, you know, get into it with anybody out for real. I try not to get into it with nobody. It's just one of them things. But it's like, man, we have been through a whole Hell lot yeah. in just the, hey, I mean, in the years that we done been together. Hey, Miss and, Love you know, God, I like to, to travel. To make sure the show is not dry now. Come on. You already know. No, oh, no, it ain't dry, dry now. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, you done had a couple, everybody done had a couple dry moments. Because I remember no, I, I had one, one where I couldn't like, say anything at all. You remember today? that night, Brian? <laughs> you Listen, remember the night that uh, we was out for serious theory and I called in. You called me to call in. <laughs> and I couldn't say anything when Mo Prim got on there. I yeah. can say a word for hey, like hey, I was when, when, when Mo Prim when, <laughs> Love, when Mo Prim came <laughs> on and, and she was trying to talk to Mo Prim. That was the first time in life, and I've known Miss Love what eight, nine years now. Like Mo, Mo, Mo Prime was the only one that stopped Miss Love dead in her track. Everybody else, she was free, uh-huh. you know, she talked and talked or whatever. But Mo Prime was that that dude. Uh-huh. Where Miss Love was like, <gasps> she was like, <gasps> yeah, look, it, I'm telling you, not for the, I mean, and I talk to everybody like you know, the outlaws. I talk to him all the time, like you know, what I mean, even Castro, I call him, he call me, we talk, but. Man, when I heard Mo <laughs> Prim, I just got stuck. Like, oh my God! <laughs> I mean, and he was like, "Miss Love, are you there?" And I, I even after he said, I was like, "I, I, I didn't know what to say." Like, <laughs> like, oh my God! That was, funny, though. that was hell was funny though. That yeah. was that was. Nah, we picked like different moments or parts of moments of different uh different after, not just after our shows because I mean I swear like. Oh God! Like you know, there's so much, there's so much stuff that I was listening to as I'm, you know, putting everything in the new spot for us and stuff like that. That y'all gonna listen to and be like, "Holy shit! This is this is what I said. This is what I did." Like there's hell of good moments, hell of moments that y'all probably even <laughs> forgot. Like y'all probably forgot hell of shit, but I'm 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 getting half the shit. But I'm, as I'm listening to it, I'm like, "Wow! This is hell of this is nostalgia. It's really it's really yeah. dope." So. Yeah, hey, yo, but Brim, um, what's up, man? I know with uh, me, it's like I knew that we was really starting to grow a bond when um, niggas start having them conference calls and shit out of nowhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. really get to the bottom of whatever we about to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas that hit me up, like, on me, like, nigga, we about to have a conference call about X, Y, Z. I'm like, God damn. Look and this look, you know not and look and I'm gonna tell you this, I don't think everybody knew this, but everybody will call me and be like, Miss Love, what's going on? I don't know. They call me <laughs> sure and say I need to call. I don't know. I have no idea. Are you sure? Yeah, like I don't. I really don't. I, I don't know. 
I have no they, idea. I don't know. I think they all knew that you yeah. probably they, they thought, okay, let's holler at Miss Love. She might know what the fuck is going on. But yeah, because they everybody knew oh, I was shit. neutral, and they think, okay, Miss Love, you talk to everybody. You don't get into it. Like try to, like I said, I try to keep you know hold us down for the most part, and you know kind of stay neutral and keep everybody sane. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Now you know what, Army. I think you're right because you know, hey, and 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 for the record, there there is still like there was after hours, not after hours. I'm tripping. There's still like you know conference mm-hmm. calls that we had that we recorded that I still have. You know what I mean? That's part of you know it was a private show. It was never made public, but you right. know we all have that. We all have that content. But uh, no, I mean that's that's where a lot of it began because I kind of feel like we all started to get to know each other a lot more. You know, we had expectations or whatever, but I still feel like this because even though we've been on, we've been doing this shit for 13 years, there was still a lot of shit that I didn't even know myself. We were just kind of going as we saw, you know what I mean? So there was a lot that I felt like I had an idea, but I didn't know the level of whatever we were doing at that particular time. So, you know, I just felt like, hey, you know what? We can do it. No big deal. But it was actually a big deal. You feel me? So, um, at the end of the day, you know, it, it maybe it was meant, you know, to be this nonprofit foundation for 13 years in order for us to do this shit. You know what I mean? Now it's time for us to grow up a little bit, find ways to be like, yo, this is this is how we can make money now. All right, cool, let's do this. You know what I mean? So, you know, exactly. but but I, but you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I think those calls got us to, gave us a chance to get to know each other and shit. You know, for better or for worse. You know uh, what I mean? You know, I think that did. Did we interview John B. Yes, yes. And L. Du Bois. Yes. And yes. L. Du Bois. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, the, uh-huh. I, remember, I remember the John B. one because I was on location, right? So I was in, I think I was at a fucking, I was at Jack London Square. And All I right. went back, I went back and listened to that show. And I'm like, fuck. It's hella windy. Like all you hear is like whoosh, whoosh. Like John B. While John B's being interviewed and shit like that or whatever. I was like, God damn. Like you know, but it, it still came out alright. It was still cool, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. But everywhere, yo. Who? Pinky. Oh, Pinky. <laughs> 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 hey, you know what? Somebody asked me. Somebody asked me, "Yo, are you gonna?" <laughs> Cause <laughs> I was telling this shit to Army like a while back, though. Like, even even the porn stars we interviewed was still good fucking interviews. Like, you know, from Misty Stone to Pinky to to Tiana Trump. Like, yeah, hey, 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 but that but that Army interview with Tiana Trump, though. Oh God, that was that was Army. Listen. If you want to hear like the perfect interview from Young Army, that interview with Tiana Trump was it. That was it. Army was like, yeah. not only not only was that nigga on his best behavior, he was charismatic. He was, you know, he was very like, you know, he was very into her, you know, asking her questions and getting the answers and shit like that. Like that right there is Army's yeah. little man right there. If you want to go, hey listen, bro. hey listen, bro, come on, nigga, it's Tiana <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Women, bro, you know how I am. With you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the battle. He was, Maybe he was on the battle. I feel like, I feel like Army yeah. had a, he had a, he had a lightweight shooting tie on. Like that nigga was like, he was all dappered up and shit. He was ready, <laughs> he was ready for that interview. He probably, mm-hmm. he probably, he probably watched a few porn spots. You know, looked up her bio and shit like that. He was like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to do that. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, but listen, real nigga shit, I remember that show specifically. No lie. While I'm on the phone talking to her, I'm outside busting traps and shit. I swear to God, real talk, I'm outside. Real talk. I swear to God. Oh, shit. So you can't say... You can't say you can't say Young Army was not multitask oriented. Like you know, he was very multitask. You know, he's one of those guys. You know what I mean? But, but uh-huh. listen, nah, in, in Army, yeah, you're right. Cause uh, you know, we I we feel like that Ron Army did call Ronald Reagan. Fuck that. 
That's my <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, 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 I don't give a fuck. That's my shit. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. He that's called. My hey, shit. right. That wrong shit. That's my shit. I think, I think shit. we was, I think we was airing out something, and then, and then, you know, you know, we all know Ronald Reagan, oh, ex president, is gone, right? I think we was talking about okay. something, and then I think, yeah. I think we were talking about, you know, say no to drugs, that dare campaign and shit back in the day. I was like, oh, that was dope, yeah. and then Army was like, nope. He was like, nah, fuck that nigga Ronald Reagan. Like, you know, he was like, uh-uh. Yep. Nah, he, nah, that was the one time, you know, probably a few other times, he had too. Three but that was one time. The hook on that, shit. that was, that was tight, yeah. yo. That was one time Army <laughs> checked me. He checked me, and I think he probably did a few other times. But that was the one time he Yo, checked me. He was like, nah, bro, nah, fuck Ronald Reagan. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That shit was hella funny. That was funny, though. <laughs> that, was funny. Yeah, that was real, though. I ain't gonna lie. That was real. Hell, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. It's funny you pulled, yeah. that, you pulled that out of all the other shows. But I was listening to, like... Hell yeah. Out of, out I mean, of, shit. I mean, prior to, prior to No Feeling songs that I had, I'd be banging. That was one song that stuck in my head, too. I was like, oh, shit, I remember that shit. You know? Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, them, just, them songs that stick in your head and shit make you remember them shit. That's the best yeah. thing about songs and shit, you know? Hey, right. y'all probably... I just have to y'all Y'all probably don't know. I think Gab was around. Gab may have been around when when I used to do this interview. Like, like I did, I interviewed Coogee Rap like a few different times, right? So I went back yeah. and I listened to a lot of them classic interviews and shit like that. Like Coogee, Coogee Rap was big, dope game. Like you know what I mean? It was cool as shit. But uh, a lot of y'all don't know. Like Coogee Rap he used to call in all the time and shit. Him, Crooked Eye used to call in a lot, and we had to. Yeah. Other- we had them other dudes. God, I forgot their name. They from Jersey. Um, okay. I forgot. I got to go back. I got to go back and check them out. But, uh, oh, oh, oh. Black Hand. Black Hand. Y'all remember Black Hand? Y'all remember Black Hand? Nah. Who? Black Hand. Yeah, y'all, y'all remember Black Hand? Black Hand. Y'all remember. He, he probably wasn't mainstream. That's what it is. Yeah. Nah, he was hella underground, though. Hella underground. Yeah. I like some but, underground dude. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, I, mean, I mean we we did we did a lot of shit. We did a lot of shit. Yeah. But I like I, I like, remember you had old girl on from a baby yeah. thing. Which one? Then you had D Woods from Danny Kane from that making sure band. I sure did. I sure did. I had <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, Gab, you remember D? I did. I did uh, D Woods from Danny D. Kane. I did Shannon from Danny D. Kane. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember um, I didn't do an interview with Aubrey from Danny D. Kane, but I had like a conversation with her offline for like an hour. Uh-huh. She was cool as shit, though. She was hella cool, though. She was cool as uh-huh. shit. Um, yeah, no, nah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Gab, damn, Gab, you've been around, bro. Like, you remember them Danny D.K. Uh, day 26 interviews day and shit like that. <laughs> day 26, yeah. Day 26. Yeah. yeah. I that. That's one. That was when Ralph D. was. Yep. That's when I was yeah. really, I was really connected. I was telling this shit to deny. I was really connected with all the motherfuckers from VH1 when they were doing the, uh, and, and MTV when they were making the band. All that making the band mm-hmm. shit, like, every, y'all, y'all, and y'all don't know this mm-hmm. shit, like, back in what, 08, 09, back around that time, like, mm-hmm. right when making the band was over, my show aired, and I would get all their traffic over to, because I had at least one member mm-hmm. of Day 26 or some shit like that or whatever, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. I remember, yeah, Murphy Lee. Oh, yeah. From, uh, <laughs> I had uh, Murphy yeah. Lee. From <laughs> and his brother. Uh, Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, had, I had them St. Lunatics. They were crazy as fuck, too. Like, uh, you know, I sure did. I sure did. Sure they did. probably know where Cousin from the Lou is. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I swear. I'm going to send Miss Love to go find them. I'm going to send Miss Love to go get them. Cause I swear. Cuz cuz need to be here. Cuz need to be here for uh, real. Oh, and on top of that though, like, 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 we really need to find Cuz because, like, nigga, it's on some shit like, 
worried about his safety type of shit. Like, nigga, are right, you right. okay, bro? Like, what right. the fuck is going on with you, bro? Not even, mm. not even, like, yeah, you're right. Not even about on some, like, you know, hey, call to the show shit. Like, I just want to make sure you good. Like, all his numbers, yeah. Yeah. all his numbers don't work. Like, every number I had on that guy don't work. So, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Real shit, we gotta find this guy, so we gotta find him. Miss Love is up to you. Miss Love is it. <laughs> he was the only one. Hell yeah. The one. Yeah. Hell yeah. She was the only one. She was the only one that Yo, actually and met I, and, and I advise all y'all to go check that movie called um American Skin. Is it good? American Skin. Yeah, American skin. That shit is tight as fuck. Yo, All that right. shit is cool as hell. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Uh-huh. And this other movie called um, what's that Miami shit with all them four heavy hitters activists with um Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, and Sam Cooke and um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it out now uh, already or, or no? Nah? I mean, yeah, so that's, I that's, that's, where's it out? That Netflix? came out already. Yeah, I think no prime. It was on prime. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That shit was solid too. I beat okay. that shit. You know. Um um let me see. That's hey, by the time, I mean by the time And we, that uh, Annabelle shit was cool too. Was it? Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm good. I'm gonna have to check it out because you know, hey, everything's all pandemic crazy and shit, so it's like I don't know what new yeah. movies are. Down and shit like that or yeah. whatever. So I'm gonna have to check it I out. I ain't gonna though. lie to you. Even fucking Wonder Woman was cool. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Shit. No, it wasn't. Nah, that shit yeah. was trash. That shit was trash. What? Which one? The new one? The new one? Yep. That was trash. Hella trash. Oh, wow. I like that armor suit she had, that, that golden suit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I find it like there was some things that she had on the bracelet that was pertaining to like the um hieroglyphics and shit like that. So I just I heard yeah. I heard Denai say what? But nah, C D deny that movie was trash. Who was the villain? <laughs> Fuck that villain. Fuck that villain. Fuck that whole that like, nerd lady, yo. Hey. It's a nerd lady that guess that, that that everybody didn't that, that looked at everybody like she a geek. It's like she went from a geek nah. to a chic. Nah, now that she was went just, to go get her bully on and shit. That oh, was a okay. movie about that was a movie about a fucking wishing rock. That's what it was. That's what oh, it was about. Yeah. You wish that yeah. you wish I liked it. A rock. I liked you it wish. because it was like a it was like a moral behind it, you know? Yeah. Listen, if I wanna if I wanna <laughs> have two people wish on a rock, I would have looked at that old cartoon called Drag was it Dragon Tales or some shit like that or whatever. <laughs> two dudes oh, two yeah. Yeah. at the rock and like wished on the rock and shit. No, oh, fuck that. Nah, that movie, <laughs> Movie's trash. Hey, coming to America is um, coming out next. Uh, what in March? So just make sure. I coming was gonna to say America. that. Coming to America. Yeah, I want to peep that, and I want to peep um um that other shit with um the, that Fred ha- that Fred Hansen shit. What's that? I want to peep oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Fred Hansen movie. I think what it's called, Judas. I think it's called okay. Judas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that shit too. So yeah. Yeah, nah, coming to America is going to be interesting, you know what I mean, just because, you know, I heard they got a good cast, so, you know, how how you going to parlay that into, you know, shit that, what was it, that 30, that movie's 30 fucking years old, right, and they going to reboot it, oh, or not yeah. reboot it, but they going to do a sequel to it, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, but, right. I saw a little clip right. to it. question on the movie, though, right, all right, so, mm-hmm. we all know when people do sequels and shit. You know, you we're gonna automatically compare it to the original, right? Now, a question: oh, yeah. Is it possible mm-hmm. to separate the original from the sequel and just enjoy the sequel just for the movie itself and not compare it to the original? We gonna have to. We gonna have to. We gonna have to for this yeah. reason because I feel like they're gonna take a lot of car- you know they're gonna they gonna take the old shit, but then they they reinventing it with the cast they currently got right now, so. You know, it's going to be hella nostalgia, but at the same time, you're absolutely right. We got to enjoy it for what it is. Um, I just hope they don't start digging into too much of, you know, trying to make it be like the first one. You know what I mean? Like, if they don't do that, mm-hmm. then they'll be all right then. 
You know what I mean? They say it's about him looking for his son. Like he greets one of the um ladies that that used to give him a bath and shit, and he gave one her a son, and she went to America with the little boy and all that shit, and he grew up, and then she found out he's in Africa, and he found out one of these days that he had a son in uh, in, in America or some shit, and that's what brought him back there. That's what he, he said. said. The, he said the girl that gave him a bath and shit. He told him stupid, yeah, bro. Yeah, fuck with him. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> One of the girls that gave him a bath. That's what they would say. Like, he was yeah, like, you got to find that girl that gave him a bath. Like, look, look, look. If you ever gave Akeem a bath and you lived in Zamunda <laughs> and you left, uh, you know, and you bath. now. She, in went America, to, she went to America. She went to America and boarded with her son. Because I guess Hakeem, she see Hakeem chilling and everybody chilling. So she's like, she went to America with the little boy and boarded with him. And she ended up staying there and grew up with him and all that from when he was a little baby all the way up to, like, he growing and everything. So he have, like, it's like he got mad American history. He don't really know, like, nothing like African or nothing like that. So all he knows is that his mother came from Africa and brought him there and raised him. You know? So it's like one of them things. All right, this nigga got a son that hella old. Nigga, um, they, uh, yeah. nigga's probably like 30 years old now. Like, like, I'm like, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they're going to. All right. So that's, that's different. It's not like the first one, obviously, but fuck. Like, listen, yeah. if I found out if I had a son and the son's 20 years old, 30 or whatever, you no, know, it obviously can't be 30. Yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was. You gotta remember the time you was fucking without that hat or some shit. Hey, remember hey, the time hey, you didn't pull out. You gotta backtrack hey. that shit. Nobody can look. I'm, I'm easy to find. What you can't Google me and shit. Like look up my name hey, and hey. find out. Let me know you gotta. You know, hey, you gotta stuff. Like I would be hella pissed. I'd be hella pissed. Oh, yeah. like, couldn't even. Yeah. Couldn't even raise my kid. Couldn't even raise my kid. She dipped though. She left the moon and dipped and like fuck it. Hey. <laughs> Ah. You she's not, she's not, hey, look, you can tell she's That's not from America. Because you get an American chick, they can be like, look, hey, I want the money. Give me the money. Give me mm. the money. Real hey, shit. Brent, mm. That's better than finding out you got a son by a witch, bitch, like Will on Bad Boys 3, nigga. Hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> real shit. That's real, though. That's true. That's true. Look, <laughs> that's another one. That's a, all right. See, there, there you go. See, that was another one that was trash to me. It wasn't. It wasn't like one or two. It was a horrible three. And I'm like, God damn, you, you can't that's come up with something. bad boys, right? Yep. You can't come up with something yeah, better. Like trash. Can't come oh, up with yeah. Like God damn. Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't feeling that. Not at all. Real oh, true. Okay. True. <laughs> Bad boy, oh, bad boy. Yeah. This is what you're gonna do. <laughs> wow. More like that movie was bad boy. <laughs> bad movie, bad movie. What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do when your movie through? That shit was oh. yo. Listen. That movie uh-huh. was so vastly different from the other two. And look, this is gonna spark mm. another debate. Like, just in my opinion, out of all three, the second yeah. one is the best one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to see? You want to see a? The second one had no, more. It was way more tactical. It was more. It. Was, I felt like there was more funnier moments than even the first one. Like the first one is filled with nostalgia. It was dope. Don't get me wrong. The second one yeah. was was good was good on that level. Like you know what, they had to do some shit where I was like, "Fuck, how are they gonna how are they gonna get out of this shit?" You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it was done. It was yeah. done perfect. It was done perfect. Yo, but yo, but scratch all that. This movie right here called Tenant. You gotta all y'all gotta check that movie out now. It's called T N T Tenant T N T. It's like you spell it's it's like you spell tenant forward and backwards. T N T T N E T. Some shit like T N E T N T or some shit like tenant. But it's with Denzel Washington's son. You gotta see that shit. You gotta see that shit. Yeah. That shit gonna have your fucking head spinning. It's about him yo, you got 
you got to peep that shit. I ain't going to lie to you. That you ain't going to waste your time. You ain't going to be disappointed watching that one right there. I heard that it was one good. All I, the tried, I tried oh, to get into it. You never heard it. of it, Tenet? I, I did. No, I did. I tried to get into you it. I got to most depth, though. Got to get into that shit. Because I heard, I heard good things about it. I just yeah. haven't checked it out, though. I haven't checked that shit yeah, out, though. Yeah, Tenet was the best out of all of them. That's what I would say. If you, if anything, watch Tenet. Try to watch Tenet first, cause that shit is the bomb. I ain't gonna lie. There wasn't no Wonder Woman shit either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, Wonder Woman was trash though. Shit was trash. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta put you on blast for a minute though, man, cause a few years back, during the after hours, we was having a debate about the Bad Boys movie, and all y'all niggas on the panel was disagreeing with me saying that the first one was the better one. You don't remember that shit? Yep. Yeah. No. Why, I like why the you, first one, yeah. Hey, hey, why you bring up the truth, Army? God damn. Like, God. Oh, yeah. my God. God the first Army. one is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. How you going to agree with me now, but back then you were <laughs> <laughs> Hey, for real. I was hoping you weren't gonna bring that shit up, bro. I was like, "Fuck!" It was like uh, after, after further after further review. You're goddamn right, Army. You are fucking right. Because <laughs> I swear to God, we uh, we went we went on your head about that shit, bro. We were like, "Man, it ain't no way that second one ain't fucking better than the first one." What you talking about? Nah, we went <laughs> in on you. Yep, you <laughs> sure the fuck did. He sure did. Yeah. But you're nah, right, I don't want to vibe. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna that shit. That shit is hilarious. Yep. But yep. You know, nah. uh, uh, Martin, um, you know, I don't think Martin is really into the acting shit no more, man. Shit, they I mean, said he, they were supposed to bring that shit out. The Martin, Martin, that Martin show, that Martin shit. They said they were supposed to bring I that heard shit about out. that. Hey, mm-hmm. I, I mean, hey, Army, you got to think about it like this, though. I think that nigga just old now. Like, right right now, I think he's just kind of like, you know, it ain't really a thing that he needs to do right now to, you know, kind of solidify his legacy, right? He's done. Like, he, if he wants to be done, he's done. But I feel like, you know, he, I mean, not saying that he ain't, you know, he ain't what he was, because he's getting older now. He's getting older now. He's probably like, yeah. shit right like Tiger right Woods. No, I'm joking. That Tiger Woods movie was hot though. I seen that shit. I still have it. Like I don't know why I can't fuck. <laughs> I can't fuck with Tiger Woods though. Like I haven't checked it well, out. I heard it was good, deep. But I... because it's, yeah, it's like his father was making him him because that was what the father wanted to do. But then he ended up slipping it. Like he did what his father wanted to do, and then he did what his father used to do, and he started mm-hmm. having some of his father's tendencies, like when it came to the females. So that's what triggered it down for him to go all that. Because his pop was like that. He, he, this nigga used to pay the media to, for the media to shut the fuck up when his pop used to be going fuck around with hookers and shit. They're like, oh, that's Tiger Woods. Mother. Tiger Woods used to be fucking with hookers with his father. Tiger, no, no disrespect. Rest in peace for him, no. But the Earl dude, Tiger Woods' father, he used to go find hookers in the streets and, and fuck with them and shit and bring all up to the hotel and fuck all up and be like, yeah, I'm Tiger Woods' father. They'd be like, yeah, right. And he showed him, like, oh, shit. So they go tell their friends and their friends the next thing you know, Tiger Woods, they ready to put it in the um, news and all that. And Tiger was like, nah, 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 nah. He, he would pay them. Nigga was paying them really? motherfuckers to shut the fuck up. So that's just to show you when it comes to, like, media and all that, just when you're thinking that, you know, if you got, like, a favorite type of this, that, and the third, you know I mean? Most of these... Um, um, entertainers or celebrities ain't who cracked up who they supposed to be. They really yeah. fly and fuck about regular people and shit. No, that's, Ooh, that's, that's that shit hurt deeply. That's what I, I use. That. God damn, you know what I mean? I can see that. I wouldn't say all of them, but I would say most of them. Huh? Yeah, I think they. Uh, I think Michael I, Jordan. Yeah, Michael Jordan. He's he's an example. You know, I man. At first, I wasn't trying to buy it, but then I did my research with this Michael Jordan character. I was like, God damn. Mm. Damn, nigga, you forgot us. God damn, Michael Jordan. God is that? Damn. You know, so it's like, you know what I mean? And you already know Jay Z and Puffy, they down with shit like that too. But I'm just saying, like, it's, it's just a fucking shame, like, how they people look at them as superheroes and shit. And these niggas are really dirtbag to the fullest, most of them. 
you know, and, right. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That you bring up Mike, <laughs> Michael Jordan because early yeah. when I was at the bar and niggas was having a debate, niggas was like, yo, who's the GOAT out of Mike and Kareem? And the vast mm-hmm. majority was like, Kareem, man, like, nigga, because of X, Y, and Z, he ain't sell out like Mike did and he actually mm-hmm. gave a fuck. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you really want to take it there, if you really want to take it there, that's, that's real shit, though. Cause, I mean, yep. people yeah. always will put that career. They put that, like, Jordan to LeBron debate, but, no, he got I mean, people seem to forget. Like that. He just got that, he got that, that fame shit because of the sneaker shit. That's, Kareem ain't got, it's like, Kareem ain't really got no sneaker to back him up or no type of fucking brand or shit. You know, popular type of brand to back him up. And, you know, ain't no coat called Kareem or no pants called Kareem or no watch called Kareem. You know what I mean? Then you look around everywhere, you see Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. So, you know what I mean? They even got a song about the bitch. You know what I mean? So he going to come automatically on top. It just shows me that the, how they just cherry pick and, and, and paint pictures on whatever they pick, whatever they want to be the um, spotlight of whatever they want. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what that shit showed me. You know, and I just look at it like it's a damn shame. You know? And then I just look at mad shit like damn. It's like, it just, it's, Y'all don't even it's like a whole sports hour. Seriously. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is not the sports center. I just say, I'm saying. You know, all the way down to the kids that ain't got the opportunity to get a motherfucking um um scholarship to go play sports because of this fucking epidemic shit going on and shit like that. All, like, all, all the way that, all that is like a crazy domino effect in crazy ways. And denial, you ain't saying nothing. You just sitting there listening. Like, yeah, you probably don't even watch sports, do you? I'm, yeah. I, I'm part of a whole sports company. That's why I'm in Vegas huh. quite frequently. That's why I'm part of a whole sports company. Get great savings throughout the store at Safeway. This week at Safeway, get mega packs of bone-in USDA choice beef, New York strip steak for six ninety seven per pound with digital coupon, limit one. Plus value packs of Signature Farms boneless, skinless chicken breasts, thighs, or wings are buy one, get one free when you buy two. And shop the stock up sale and earn four times rewards points when you clip the digital coupon on participating items like Lucerne Butter Quarters. For two ninety seven each with digital coupon, limit four. Visit Safeway.com or head in store for more deals. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you don't have Consumer Cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash FIRSTYEAR15 for promotional details. Thank you for listening to the number one radio station for the people. 